I have a very bad habit of putting too many locks on things that I really need to get into and then losing the keys to those locks. Don't worry. I have a solution. Find the keys and unlock them. Also, I should really stop putting locks on things that I need. Hello, everybody. I'm Kindly Kid, and today we're unlocking locks. Locks, 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 locks. There's so many locks. Why are there so many locks? Who put all these locks here? That's fine. We're unlocking them. It doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a door, it's a toilet, it's a refrigerator, it's a private jet, it's an entire city. It's getting unlocked. Welcome to 12 Locks Plasticine Room. Right off the bat, this game looks awesome. Everything is clay. Let's see what's going on. Hi, my name is Plasticine Man. What a weird name. <laughs> Oops, it looks like something is wrong with my tummy. I, I can relate. It tries to say something to me. Really? I don't think my stomach has ever said anything to me. Ah, I must go to the toilet. Oh, no. It was a really bad idea to lock the door on all these locks. E yeah, yeah. And so our dilemma. My bathroom door is locked by 12 locks. Who does that? I hope that that toilet is made out of solid gold. So essentially, we need to figure out how to open this door. And we need to figure out some puzzles. What's going on with this thing? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, I understand. Maybe I just need to put things in order? Oh, that's gonna be a nightmare. I need to get the three between the two and the four, but I've only made it worse. Get me out of here. Oh, I found scissors. I have scissors. What about these patches? The, what about the TV remote? Turn on the TV. Can I turn on the TV? I got a key! Let's go! Gray key. Get out of here. Unlock? Wait. Oh, no, it's this little one at the top. Okay, this is awesome. I feel like this is an insane clay version of Hello Neighbor. <laughs> I really like this. What's going on with this teddy bear? Very suspicious. Oh, you know what? Should we do teddy bear surgery with these scissors? I mean, he's got those stitches along his chest. Let's see. Dude, okay. This is awesome. Pink key, unlock. Now I do see this insane chemistry set. This seems real dangerous. Oh my gosh. There must be some kind of like code or something. We have to like arrange the colors in a certain order. Maybe Einstein can help us. No. Uh, let's see what's going on with the fridge. Okay. Let's, ooh, there's a drawer that will not open in the fridge. Can I take the sausage or the cheese? No. What about the freezer? Oh, we've got a frozen key. So we need to heat up this frozen key. Oh, you know what? Can I put it in the oven or like on the, the stove maybe? Or what about in the sink? Maybe I can turn on the hot water and like thaw it out in the sink? No. What about in the blender? Put it in the blender. That That's not gonna work. Let's check all the cabinets. Okay. Oh, a couple opened. What's going on with these rocks? I can't interact with those. Maybe they're cups. What about these drawers? <gasps> I don't know what this thing is. Oh, that's a can opener maybe? Anything else? No, nothing else in the drawers. This is a weird situation. This actually happened to me in real life. Not like specifically a key inside of a jug of water, but my son Seth stuffed a wooden block into one of these water containers. And I don't know how he got it in there because it was impossible to get it out. I literally had to cut the thing open, which has me thinking, maybe I need to cut this thing open using a can opener. That's not gonna work. What is this thing? Oh, oh, okay, I understand. I need to rearrange the rings, but I need to rearrange them in a way that they fit on the last peg properly. Oh, here we go. Yes, brilliant. And then we can put this one here and this one here. Give me a key, give me a key. Thank you very much. All right, we got ourselves a red key. What is going on up there? 153852. Hear me out. What if that has something to do with this thing that we were messing with earlier? Nah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Maybe it's a code to something. Maybe it's piano keys? Because you've got the white keys and then the, the black keys? Maybe? It's, it's tricky. What about these stuffed animals? Can we mess with these? What, whoa, what is, what is that? 9427, what the heck does that mean? Very confused. Can I open? Oh my. Oh, okay. Oh, these puzzles are so hard. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be doing this for the rest of my life. Oh, 
let's go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually got it done. I was I was getting through that puzzle and thinking, man, I'm gonna be here a long time. It actually didn't take that long. I'm very proud of myself. What's this green thing on the keyboard? Oh, okay, hear me out. What if we do one and then we go one, two, three, five, and then the third black key, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the white key, and then one. Oh no, I messed it up. Try this again. One, five, three, eight, and then back to five, and then two. I feel very smart right now. I know I probably shouldn't feel smart, but I do. I'm not going to lie. Okay, let's use some of our keys. Let's just let's get them out of our inventory. We've got the green key. Get out of here. We've got the red key. Go away. And we've got the yellow key. That's the wrong yellow key. What? Why didn't it work? Oh my gosh. Is the yellow key kind of broken? I don't know why it's not working. Maybe it's this. Uh, no, it's not that. There's a number pad. We'll hold on to the yellow key for now, I guess, and uh, just move on with our lives. Uh, something is moving in this chest under the bed. And that has me a little concerned. Maybe I can. No, I can't use that. 9427. You don't suppose that's for one of these locks? 9427? Easy enough. Okay. What about this mug? Okay, maybe we can do something with the mug. What about the painting? Can't interact with the painting. Whoa, oh, I just took the oranges, I think, that were in the painting. Um, That's kind of awesome. I don't know what to do with them, but I got them. Maybe, maybe make some orange juice, blend them up. No, no, never mind. What about under the TV? Oh, what does that mean? Open ad. This is gonna play an ad. Okay. Hi. No, thanks. What did that do? <laughs> I don't know what that did. I don't think that did anything. Okay. Let's open this cabinet. We've got another number code. We also have some, some colors, which makes me think of that chemistry set. But let's see, 8563. Maybe we can type that in on the other lock. 563. Absolute boss. These stuffed animals are very sus. I don't know what's going on with them. We've still got to figure out how to thaw this blue key. Maybe, you know, actually, maybe I can fill this up with- Okay. I filled up the cup with water. Maybe if I put it in the- Oh! Okay. Okay. Yep. There you go. Well played. Well played. Open that. Okay. I still don't know what this key is for. I guess I'll just hold on to it. Oh! It opened the main lock. That's actually awesome. I think at some point we're gonna need a hammer? What do you think? Do you think that this yellow, green, blue, pink, can that be applied to the chemistry set? Yellow, green, blue, pink? There really is no pink in the chemistry set. Oh man. Okay, that is that is something. Yellow, green, blue, and then pink, but that's technically purple, which only leaves us with three more colors, red, orange, and dark blue, but I have no idea what order those would go in. Also, there's dark blue and light blue. I, I think that's light blue, but I honestly have no idea. What do we use this can opener on? There's got to be something that we're missing here with the can opener. What is that? What is this? I don't even know what this thing is that I just picked up. Maybe I can use it to open something? I know I got to figure this out. Really, really don't want to. I feel like I'm just making it worse. Okay, I got one, two, three, four up at the top. Look at me, kind of making progress. Now I need to get seven and eight over there. Okay, maybe I gotta get the seven, save the seven. Now the six and the seven are mixed up. You're saying there's a chance? Ah, okay, five, six, seven. I need to get eight where it belongs, which is proving to be harder than you might imagine. Come on, 12, get out of here. Nobody likes you. Oh, I think I got it. Okay, seven, eight. Now I need to get 10 over here. Getting there, we're getting there. 9, 10, 11, 12, come on. It's backwards, don't love that. Gonna have to rework this, <laughs> oh my gosh. This puzzle's a nightmare. And I don't wanna move anything else around because I finally have the top rows in place. We'll get there. 15 is completely in the wrong spot. That's ultimately where 15 is gonna go, but we gotta get the rest of the numbers in place before we can put it there. Oh my goodness, okay, okay. 13 is in the wrong spot though now. Ah! I want to cry. <laughs> <gasps> oh my goodness. We have actually done it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Holy moly, that was hard. What did I get?
it. Can I, oh, I need to open it. Oh, I got the crowbar. So I imagine I can use the crowbar to remove the plank. There you go. Only four more keys. We got this. What do I use these oranges on though? Maybe I put the oranges in the blender. Oh, okay. I'm making some orange juice. <laughs> it turns it into an orange key. Of course, it's science. Beautiful. I gotta know what this can opener is for. I'm tapping all over the place. I'm trying to figure out what to use the stuff that I have on what. What's going on with these cups up here? They're not cups, they're cans. I am a fool and now I can open them. Give me the goods that are inside of these cans. There's gotta be a key inside of this can. Please, please, please. The final can, <laughs> let's go. Purple key, oh baby. Now we're talking. Two more keys. Oh, I think I understand the chemistry set. We're gonna make that rainbow key from the chemistry set. Maybe we just use the color of the lock as the as the sequence. So if we go from top to bottom, I guess we go like purple and then dark blue and then light blue and then green and then yellow, orange, red. You gonna make me a make me a key? You're not gonna make me a key. Did I get the color sequence right? I did. Maybe from bottom to top, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, purple. Nothing happened. Oh, wait, I had to press a button. Okay, go back. I believe that is the correct color sequence. Make me a key. It didn't make me a key. Guess we'll come back to that one. Oh, you know what? Maybe, oh, yeah, okay. So like, maybe I need to paint this thing. This is like a template for a key, but there's more to it. There's definitely more to this. Can I put this frozen key on the, the stove? I can't put the frozen key on the stove, which makes me think that maybe there's like a pot or something hiding somewhere. I don't know. What about these? What about these food items? Can I do anything with these? Fair enough. Poor guy, probably has to go so bad. I'm tapping everything. <laughs> Nothing's working. I haven't asked for help. I do have the option, but I wanna see if I can do this without asking for help. I mean, the stove is on, which is the most frustrating part. All I gotta do is put that frozen key on the stove and it'll melt, but apparently not. Apparently there's more to this. I'm gonna try reversing the colors again, but this time with the template on the table. Hey, it worked. Let's go. Okay. There's only one more puzzle and I cannot figure it out for the life of me. The fire's right there. Just put the key on it. Come on, man. You put it next to the radiator and it melts. And there you go. You got your last key. You, my friend, plasticine man can now go to the bathroom. <laughs> we did it! We opened all the locks. Strange sounds were coming from behind the door for some time, I imagine. Welcome to 12 Locks 2. That's right, the sequel to 12 Locks. And Plasticine Man here still has a very bad habit of locking things that he really needs to use in lots of locks. Who does that? Also, can we talk about this title music? This is so good. Na 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 na. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's a bop. We got ourselves a title screen bop here. Anyways, here we go. Hi, I'm Liza. Hi, Liza. Dad, do you know where my rabbit is? Oh, please tell me that you did not lock that rabbit up in twelve locks. No. It means it's a case for real detectives as opposed to fake detectives. I already have a hat like Sherlock Holmes. We need only to take a magnifying glass. It's true. Those are the only two things that you need to be a real detective. Yesterday, I put it in a safe. What is this magnifying glass worth to you, dude? Why I locked the safe on all these locks? Yeah. Again, you really need to cool it with locking stuff in so many locks. It's just very inconvenient. But on the bright side, we get to play more 12 locks, which is a very cool game. What is that? Is that a cookie? Oh, no, it's a painting. And now I'm holding it. I think it's a painting. I don't know. So that's cool, I guess. Oh, oh my. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Beautiful art right there. I want that ruby. Oh, I took the ruby. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold on. We need to we need to go back. Just take it one step at a time. There's a lot going on here. I don't want to feel too overwhelmed. Too late. I'm overwhelmed. Trash can. This piece of paper. More. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. That's one lock down. 11 to go. We probably also need to find out some kind of safe combination, I imagine. There's a lot of buttons on the left-hand side of this safe. Goodness gracious! He's got laser security systems in his house! This guy is serious about security. What's going on with this sink? Oh yeah, we've got to rotate the pipes to go somewhere. I don't know where, but I, I think I, I understand what needs to be done, maybe? I just made a circle there. It needs to end like this in the lower right. And then I think it probably needs to start like that. It is far too early in the morning for my brain to get melted like this. Okay, wait, wait a second. I think we're on to something here. Maybe? No, okay, you know what? We go back up and then we go this way. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at me. I'm officially a plumber now. Uh, are you gonna give me a key? Yes, you are. Thank you very much, Sink. Thank you. Two down, 10 to go. What's going on with this laser thing? Oh, I see. Okay, we probably need to find a screwdriver to remove this plate. Also, I found another cookie. It, it, you know what it is? We probably need to find a few pieces and then it makes a circle. And then we put that circle somewhere. That's my theory. What is going on with this thing? This makes no sense. I, what? Do you have to like line up specific colors? Oh my gosh, this, this seems very complicated. Maybe it's not as complicated as I think it is, but it seems pretty complicated. Maybe you're supposed to put all of one color on one side. I mean, if that's the case, it's actually not that complicated. This actually makes a lot more sense now. And then we want the white buttons in the middle. So how do I get the white buttons into the middle though? That's, and then line everything else up. Oh man, okay. I understand what I need to do. I just have no idea how to do it. I think I'm onto something here. I think, I think I got it. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. He's done it. I don't know, something about solving these puzzles makes me feel way smarter than I actually am. And look at that, we got ourselves a screwdriver that we're gonna use on the laser security system and then probably hurt ourselves, but hopefully not. Oh gosh. What? I, I have no idea what to do with this. Maybe it's like a combination, you gotta press them in a certain order. I do not have that information yet. Uh, hello? Wait, I got another piece of this cookie thing? I don't know what it is. 9754, what does that mean? Oh, another cookie. What do I do with these cookies? Can I take this apple? No, what's this thing? It's a knife. I don't know what to do with it. There's this weird painting with 1635 on it. Is there a clock somewhere? What have I clicked? Three means to the right, five means to the left, eight means to the right. Now my brain hurts. Oh, I took an ax. Or a hammer? Oh! I placed a piece of the cookie. Or pizza? Oh my goodness, it's a key. Look at that. Maybe it was like a wheel or something? I don't know. Some kind of artistic piece. Making progress. These puzzles are hurting my brain. Whoa! Whoa! I'm using the hammer on this chair. It, it gave me a key, okay? That was very random. I was just tapping on things with the hammer equipped. Sometimes that's all you gotta do. Just start smashing stuff with hammers. No, don't, don't do that. Let's open this lock. We're still not sure what this ruby is for. I would like to figure that out. Can I give it to this lady? No, okay. Oh, um, okay. I placed the diamond, a ruby, in the safe. It's like a key. So I need two more jewels of some sort, maybe? All right, fair enough. Ah, I probably set this clock to 1535. Uh, sorry, 1635, which would be 435, right? Right there. Beautiful. I love seeing those green lights. 
This is asking for a number sequence, which tells me that uh, this 9754 maybe is the answer. 9754. I feel pretty good about those. There's still a lot of locks though. We got work to do. And I still have no idea what to do with this knife. I assume it's a knife. I don't know, maybe it's something else. Whoa, what? I figured out what the knife was for. I just cut open that chair. Um, okay. I'm not sure what these things are. So I'm not gonna worry about them right now. What I am gonna worry about is dropping these gems off. Oh, baby. Yes. And then I got a blue key as well. Thank you. What is this? It just farted at me. Can we just... Oh. Okay. Okay. Wait a second. Oh, interesting. So we need to light every single one of these buttons up to green. So I need to remember the sequence which I'm already kind of losing. Okay. Oh my gosh. It must be top. Okay. Now bottom? Oh. 50-50 chance here. Left or right? Left. Oh, let's go. All right. Okay. That's another one down. There's actually only two more keys. Red and green. One of them probably has something to do with this. Whatever this means. And the other one has something to do with this. Dealing with yellow, green, blue, and red. Both of these puzzles share that. I wonder if they actually share a code. Now that I think about it. Are there any clues? There's this. I don't know what this means. Wait a second. Let's look at this again. Three to the right, five to the left, eight to the right. What if we go three? And then, what am I even doing? Five to the left? What does that mean? One, two, three, four, five, the yellow button? And then eight to the right? One, two, three, four, that, that doesn't work at all. I'm just pressing everything and hoping something happens. And uh, as it stands, nothing is happening. You know what this might be? This might be one of those locks that you have to turn, the turnstile lock, right? You go three to the right, five to the left, and then eight to the right. I don't see one of those locks anywhere around here. Maybe it was this? Or maybe it's on the safe itself? Oh, yeah. So you go three to the right, and then five to the left, and then eight to the right. Eight. Boom. He's done it. I am still very confused about this, though. What does it mean? I am requesting help from the game because I can't figure it out. Green box puzzle will be solved like a Sudoku game. Oh man, it's been a long time since I've played Sudoku. I don't remember the rules. It has to be like that. The only thing is the diagonals, but I don't feel like there's anything I can do about that. You don't want the same one in the same row or column. So we can't have the same color in the same row or column? Cause that's how Sudoku works. But I don't know if that's possible. Okay, so as far as I can tell, the first two rows are good. The top two, I think. This has to be green, which means this has to be red, but now we have two reds on the right-hand column. So maybe this one needs to start with red and end with blue? And then this one needs to start with blue, and then we just need to swap the yellow and the red? No, because it's right next to a yellow. <laughs> Oh, that hurts. Okay, so then that's not the way the puzzle works. Okay, then I'm... I have it. What? I thought that's what I did! I thought that's exactly what I did before. What did I... What did I change? I don't... I'm confused, but I just solved the puzzle, and I will take my green key. Thank you very much. Only one more. Only one more! And it's you. By the way, I did get a hint for the red key. We'd already done that. Ooh. I found something out. Y yeah. Okay. You got to connect the colors, right? Okay, that doesn't seem that hard. Look at this. Easy mode. That <laughs> that's all it took. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. That was not nearly as complicated as I thought it was. Break the jar. Or just give me the key. Oh my goodness. We have done it. The final key. Open. Oh baby. Give me that. Oh. The bunny was in the safe the whole time. <laughs> well. Safe is opened. Oh. Here rabbit is. Then now we can lock this safe again. No. Don't. Or if you're gonna do it. Put stuff in there that you don't need. Maniacs. We have to take our daughter to school. Get in the car. But we need to unlock it first. And because I am the craziest person on the planet, I've locked it with 12 locks. As usual, of course. This guy is insane. He takes security way too serious. All right. I see an orange key. That, that's a mean dog. Okay, never mind. We need to figure out a way to make the dog not mad at us. Either way, I'm excited to be playing more 12 locks. This game is awesome. I have a great time every time. How about a tire? No, no tires? We're playing tic-tac-toe? Yo, you always gotta start center though. All right, you know what? Ugh, you're too good. I got him. I got him dead to rights. Look at this. Boom. Give me my key. Give me my key. I'm too good at tic-tac-toe. Purple key. I'll take it. A traffic light? What's going on with the traffic light? There, wait a second. There might be a, a code here. It, red, yellow, yellow, green, green. And then back to yellow. Th there could be something there. I don't know for sure, but we'll remember that. Give me a shovel. All right. Any of these tires? No. Okay. I'm going to grab a, a wrench or a can opener. It might be a can opener. What's going on with this picture? What's, what's the deal with this? Do something with it? No. Okay. Pool noodles. Everybody loves pool noodles. Wait, there's a red can and I see the red can in that picture. So <gasps> you know what? I need to collect these cans. Okay. So, and I need to put them in that order. So red, green, blue. Um, this seems dangerous. Let's open it. <laughs> what? Okay, I do see the blue can, so I'll take that. Um, oh boy. Um, is this like the Among Us puzzle? I understand. So the the cables have to be straight. They can't be slouching. So like, do that. That guy. No, that can't reach. Okay. Um, hear me out. Green goes up here. No, green goes there. Okay, I think I understand what I need to do. I'm, I'm gonna move that guy over there, put red over there, and then green up at the top. Look at me, I'm an electrician. What kind of key is that? <laughs> looks like a, it looks like an old lollipop with a bent stick. Is there more to this though? It seems like there's like another puzzle sort of element here. We got the cable situated, but then there's like a shelf below it. I don't know, there, there might be something here, but maybe we need some kind of item to interact with it. We'll, we'll come back to that. Banana peels. Apples? No. Trash? Digging through the trash? <gasps> a dog bone. Is there more trash? No, there isn't. But I know what to do with this dog bone. Hello, doggy. Have this. And please, let me have the key. Look at me. All right. I always feel way smarter than I should when I solve the puzzles. But it just makes me feel smart for a second. Just a second. Let me have it. All right. Uh, I think we can take off the, um, the wheel guards. I, I, I forget what these things are called, but typically those get put on your car when you're like parked illegally. This dude puts his own tire locks on his car. He's absolutely insane. It's not even that great of a car. Like, I don't feel like anybody's going to really want to steal it. Sorry for being so honest. <laughs> Let's drop off the blue can. Uh, it's going to be in the third spot. And then we are looking for a green can at some point. Is there anything else I can interact with over here? No, doesn't look like it. All right, let's move on to the fire hydrant. Maybe I can use a can opener on the fire hydrant. Okay. Thank you for the blue key. Don't mind if I do. 9471. Is there a keypad anywhere? Oh, green can. We'll take that. Green 9471. There's a keypad on the car. Let's try it. Easy mode. And then let's drop off the green can. Thank you very much. That's the pool noodle key, apparently. <laughs> What about kitty cat? What's going on with kitty cat? Oh, you know what? Kitty cats love fish bones. Do, hear me out though. Do kitty cats actually love fish bones? I think that's more of just like a cartoon media sort of thing, but let's give him the fish bone. Yeah, all right. That's a happy kitty cat. What's going on with this thing? <gasps> 
It's a stoplight. It's a stoplight. Okay, that's where the sequence is gonna go in. Now, I don't know where this sequence starts and where it ends, but I think it's red, yellow, yellow, green, green, and then yellow. I think that's it. Red, yellow, yellow, green, green, yellow. Let's try it. Red, yellow, yellow, green, green, yellow. Dude, dude, I feel so good about it. <laughs> I shouldn't, but I do, but I do. Let's use some of our keys now that we have a decent collection. We'll get rid of the green lock. What is this key for? The weird lollipop, is it this one? Okay, it is. Um, I think that this black key is just the ignition key. So it probably opens the, the door, like the actual car door. So we'll save that one for later. Let's get rid of the blue lock. And then we've got the pool noodle lock and uh, we're on our way. I did see a big old mound of sand. I'm thinking we use the shovel on that. We totally use the shovel on that. What is this thing? Is this a garage door opener? I not sure what to use this on. Oh, that's a doorbell. Is it? Wait, what? Um, okay. Okay, I don't I don't know what the purpose of that was, but maybe we have to put something in that that gap there. I mm. We'll come back to that. Oh, okay, there was a key under the rug. You know, everybody loves to leave keys under placemats. It's probably the first place that thieves look. <laughs> so don't put your keys under placemats. That's a yellow key. Don't mind if I do. Do you think I just use this to, to turn off like the alarm? Yo, okay, that was the car alarm. We seriously only need two more keys. I feel like I'm getting too good at these games. Is there anything in your backpack? No, nope, nothing in her backpack. Okay, is there anything in your pockets? Perhaps, no, okay, fair enough. Hmm. What is going on with this watering can? That seems sus. And then also there's apples. What, do I have to remove all the apples before they grow back? <laughs> oh my gosh, the tree key. Everybody knows if you wanna keep your car safe, you gotta have a tree key. I guess. So there's only one more puzzle and it's this doorbell. Why are you so grumpy, lady? You have my pink key? What a weird thing to do. Like you lock up your car with 12 locks and then you give one of the keys to your neighbor? How inconvenient would that be? Like every time you wanna go for a drive, you gotta go somewhere, you gotta go to your neighbor. What if they're not home? Terrible, it's a terrible plan. What's going on with this doorbell? Oh, okay. I can move everything. Aha, uh -huh. now I'm starting to understand. There's something in there. Like what? What? What am I trying to do though? Oh, I just fixed the cable, ring the doorbell. Lady gives me my pink key. <laughs> That's literally what happened. Okay, did I really just beat this level in 13 minutes? We'll, we'll actually see. It gives you a count of how long it took to beat a level after you beat it. And no hints required. Get in the car, take your daughter to school, you absolute maniac. Now she's late because you decided to lock your car like an absolute insane person. But either way, you know, mission accomplished. Yes, the car is opened. I wonder if he gets that excited every time. Also, now I'm starting to think, does he have someone else hide the keys? Cause he never helps me. He never helps me solve the puzzles. And you, you'd think that, you know, if he's the one who locked all the locks that he would know where all the keys are. Of course, it's great. But while we looked for keys, I'm late for school. Yeah, that kind of goes without saying. It seems like it's a bad habit to lock all doors to 12 locks. Game time, six minutes, 12 seconds? Seriously? Something about that doesn't seem right because I've been recording for 14 minutes, but I'll take it. Are there leaderboards? Like it took me 19 minutes to complete the first level. Either this level is significantly easier than the first level was, or I'm starting to get a brain for these puzzles. I'm on to you, dude. I figured you out. You're insane. This is part three around the world. We're going international. I'm very excited. Hey guys, I'm Liza. We decided to go on a journey around the world. Dad, why did you lock the door with 12 locks? How do we get out? Of course, it starts with having to get out of our own house because my maniac dad put so many locks on every single thing that he can put locks on. He's insane. Are you aware that young players don't like that you hide keys with such complicated puzzles? Don't worry, this time I didn't hide them. 
what? Oh, so like they're like super obvious. Also, my dude is just holding a, a paddle, an oar. Um, I'm starting to think that uh, there are puzzles here. Oh, wait, okay, okay, fair enough. There's no puzzles. Liza, put your boots on. There was. I mean, that's not really a puzzle, but like someone put a key in, in Liza's boots. Kind of weird. All right, let's open what we can. It seems like we have quite a few keys, but I don't think we have all of them. Starting off with a little warm up. I appreciate this. 8491. I bet you that's for this. 8491. Master unlocker. What about the backpack? Anything? No? What about in here? You got a key for me? Okay, never mind. I just press a button. Okay, thank you. What's this? Clicker. Okay, dad. Um, there's still two more keys. And they are hidden. <laughs> They were both in the box that I already opened. I just had to tap it again. All right, let's get out of here. Let's travel around the world. Lock stuff in other parts of the world as you do. Oh my gosh, we just, we have a plane in our driveway. You see how quickly we have unlocked the door? What? Why is it so easy? Not interesting. I love the way that they talk to each other. It's like they're robots. Don't worry, next level will be more challenging for players. I hope so, because this would be a really short video. Actually, see you guys next time. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're playing the next level. Oh my gosh, we're going underwater. Let's do it. Today, I and Dadov decided to dive. What is Dadov? Anyways, Liza, look how beautiful it is here. It is. Dad, look, there's a treasure chest. Let's open it. It looks like you've locked it. <laughs> I think my dad's already been here. First of all, we need to open all these locks. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. That is a key that is actually a fish or is it a fish that is actually a key? No one truly knows, but this is going to be so cool. Um, I think it opens this lock. Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm catching fish along the way. Uh, hello, Mr. Octopus. You shoot bubbles every Every time I tap your face. I don't know if that's something that's going to help me. I do see that you're kind of missing like a tentacle. Maybe I need to find this guy a tentacle. There's a bird up there. Tap the bird. I got a feather. I don't know why that bird sounded like a chicken. Looks more like a seagull to me, but I'm okay with it. There's also like a green line in this rock. That's, that's suspicious. I don't know what it is. Oh, I'm shaking cactus. Underwater cactus. There was a green key in that underwater cactus. I know it's seaweed, but it looks like a cactus. Okay, that's another one down. Let's keep it going. What is, what is this? See th these lines, you got like a yellow slash. You got a green slash over here. Oh, the, the ship has a bunch of different colored slashes in it too. Oh, that pirates definitely had better days. Okay. What is this thing? This is a key. <laughs> that was a massive key. Let's use it. We got jellyfish. Um, I feel like I probably shouldn't touch them, but I'm, but I'm gonna. Okay. okay. I, th there you go. Yeah, just had to get them out of the way of the sea cactus. What's going on with this rock? It's kind of weird, right? Let's tap on the pirate skeleton. Oh, he had something under his hat. All right. I like how all of his like limbs, you can, you can bounce them around. <laughs> What's going on with this anchor? 1976. Okay. So there's got to be a, like a, a key code somewhere. Oh, you know what? What an advanced treasure chest. Do you think pirates were sitting out here locking their treasure chest with keypads? Something tells me that it wasn't the pirates who locked this treasure chest. Anyways, one, nine, seven, six. That worked. All right. Uh, we probably need another code, but I'm just going to try on the other keypad. Yeah, that didn't work. So there's another code hiding somewhere. Let's check these rocks. What is that? Five, two, eight. Should we try it? Five, two, eight. Did not work. Fair enough. I should just check all of the rocks just to make sure that like I can't pick up any of them. And also remember, we're, we're on the lookout for this weird like tentacle for the for the octopus. I haven't really messed with the pirate ship yet. So I guess let's let's see if there's. Oh, interesting. What if? OK, green. Do we have to like set the slashes at the right angle, perhaps? So green is right. You know what? That's not a missing tentacle. That's the red line for the pirate ship. So it's it's flat. Oh, I'm feeling kind of smart. Purple, also flat. Okay, and then we just need the yellow line. Where's the yellow line? There you go. It's a it's like a right angle. Yo, two eight four nine. That must be for this two eight four nine. Let's go. All right, let's use the keys that we already have. We've got a, a swirly key that we can use on the swirly lock. Oh, you know what? Didn't we find? Yeah, we found this five two eight. I think that might be for this five two eight. Beautiful, beautiful. So it looks like we only need three more locks and one of them looks like the octopus. So there's something going on with Mr. Octopus. I just don't know what yet. <laughs> 
Give me a key. Just keep tapping his head. Come on, bud. I don't know why I think this is a good idea. Oh, maybe we feed him fish? No. What if we tickle him with the chicken feather? <laughs> it made him sneeze. Oh, man. All right. I'm loving it. What do we do with these fish, though? Maybe we put the fish in the cave? There's an angler fish in there. He's hungry. Keep feeding him. Keep feeding him. Give me a key, bud. Give me a key. What is that? What did you just give me? Also, there's another fish now. What am I supposed to do with this fish? <laughs> um, what is this thing? Do I use it? Maybe. Oh. Ooh, this is interesting. Oh, it's like a, it's, it's a little, it's a skull. Yes. Yes. All right. That wasn't too bad. The fish came back, but I can't collect them now. So I think that puzzle is, is solved, but I need to figure out what I'm supposed to do with the thing that the angler fish gave me. What's going on with this? Oh, look at that. It's a light bulb. Brilliant. Okay. I don't like these puzzles. Okay. So I think I need to get the lit up orange block into that spot on the right hand side. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I got this. Go that way, that way, and that way. I, you know, it's crazy because I remember the first level that we played in 12 locks was like racking my brain. Now I didn't use any hints, but it took me a very long time. I'm feeling like I got like 12 locks foo now. I understand it. I speak 12 locks language, or maybe the levels are just getting easier and I'm giving myself way too much credit. We only have one more lock and I think it has to do with this thing? Oh, we have to swap the colors. Okay, okay. Kind of seems like a nightmare. How, how? Maybe I just need a green over there and an orange over there? No. Fair enough. Um, okay, wait, 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 wait. I, I can do this. I can do this. Can I do this? Can I do this? I think I'm I think I'm doing it. Yeah, because now I can get one of the oranges over there and then get another orange. Aha! It's starting to take shape, sort of. Wait, my brain hurts again. Wait, 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 wait. I, I think I got it. I think I got it. And then we'll get this guy over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Aha! <laughs> he has done it! I love that sound. I love it. There you go. What's in the treasure? chest, dad. What do you got locked in there? I know you're up to this. There's no way the pirates are as insane as dad is. Let's see. Let's see what's inside. They're just rubber duckies. Just a bunch of rubber ducks. Hooray! The chest is unlocked. We're rich in rubber ducks. Whose bright idea was to lock all these ducks in here? I think I already know. It looks like I am not the only one having this habit to lock anything with 12 locks. It was the pirate skeleton. It gave us a little, little skeleton wink. Also, the game time was 58 seconds. Something tells me that is incorrect. I feel like if there were leaderboards in this game, people would think that I'm cheating. I'm not. The game is broken. We're going to outer space. How great is that to be in open space? Very great. Houston, we have a problem. I've locked everything. What happened? It looks like I locked the hatch with 12 locks again. This dude's a maniac. He's a maniac. He has a problem and needs to talk to someone about it. You've gone too far, man. First things first, I got to tap his his the, what you spit out a gear is there anything else D dude you've just got a key in your suit all right well that's one key down 11 to go in outer space what do i do with this thing oh my goodness gracious uh tap on earth why is there a section of earth that is orange is that no that's not doing anything okay we've got some kind of alien ship no this is just the other side of the same ship Yes, okay. There's a lot going on here, but we're gonna figure it out. We just gotta work through it one piece of the puzzle at a time. What's going on with uh, S Susan here? I, I don't, I forget her name. Stacy, Veronica, Mildred, Mildred. Nothing's going on with Mildred, okay. I know that's not her name, but I don't know what her actual name is. What about the chair? Chair? We've got some kind of like, oh, wait a second. Can we, okay, we can plug in the panel, um, but I feel like we need a screwdriver to, uh, to unlock this whatever this thing is. What is this thing? Keep tapping it. It's not doing anything. We'll come back to that one. What about the moon? It's made of cheese. Eat the moon. No, can't eat the moon. Okay, fair enough. There's a red button. It's now a green button. <laughs> uh, uh, I have no idea what that does. Little concerning. Uh, okay, another gear. No, I don't need a hint right now. 
No hints. Oh, you know what? What if we add this to the clock? Is that a clock? No, that's not a clock. I don't know what this thing is. It's just spinning around and around. That is a giant key. Uh, okay, I feel like we can shrink it, maybe? If we if we turn on this machine, like there's a plus and a minus. I feel like we can, we can minus this thing and shrink it, but it's not working. So again, we'll come back to that one. Oh, screwdriver. Yes, give me the screwdriver because I know what to actually do with that. Remove the screws, get access to this panel and break my brain. Okay, um, I suspect that we need to connect all of the dots to the same color path. Does that make sense? In my head, it made sense. You guys kind of understand what I'm trying to say, right? I feel like the smart thing to do is to, to start with connecting the, the dots that are on the side with the right color, but then there's different options here. No, it's gotta be like that. Okay, and then, oh boy. Oh man, this is, this is something. So we're, we're going up like that. I'm, I'm Right now I'm trying to figure out the blue path. So I think I need to get the, this blue dot on the left-hand side of the screen to the blue dot on the bottom of the screen. Probably. This feels right. It could be very wrong. No, I think this is right because it lines up with the green really well when I when I get it set up like that. Oh, baby. I think, I think we're getting there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is coming together. Look at this. Boom. Okay, you got green to green. You got blue to blue. Now we just need to finish red and everything has fallen apart. <laughs> It's so quickly. Wait, I thought I thought we had it. I really thought we had it. But okay, wait, wait, wait. We can divert the blue path, which will save the red path. Aha! I can fix this. I can fix this. Okay. I think that's it. I think this is gonna solve the puzzle. Yo! Oh, that felt really good. Um oh. There's more to it. Okay, just set everything to green. Oh, I can only have one thing green at a time. Oh, there's now like a Galaga style game. Okay, this this level is really cool. I'm digging this a lot right now. Take out all of the aliens. Get them, get them. Almost done, almost done. They're getting a little closer, a little scary. There you go. Give me a key. Look at me, look at me go. Now we're talking. So now that we've completed that, I think we can turn on a different module and try and figure that out. Let's go ahead and use this orange-ish key. There you go. And uh, let's continue our adventure. Hey, Dad, uh, hope you're having a great time out there in outer space. I'm just gonna tap you a few times. Just make sure that you're not hiding any more keys. How did it? Okay, wait, wait a second. How did he lock the space station entrance but somehow get the keys inside of the space station. You have superpowers, my dude? I think he might be able to just teleport. I think he has the power to teleport. That's why locks don't bother him because he can put a billion locks on a door, but just teleport through it. No inconvenience for him, everybody else, extreme inconvenience, but for him, the man with the power to teleport, who cares? That way he's safer on the inside, but he's very shy about using his teleport ability. So when I'm looking, when I'm watching the game, he won't use it. That's my story. Does it check out? Probably not. I think he's just an absolute insane person. Hello, Mr. Robot. Um, What's going on with you? <laughs> I, I turned the robot module on. So he used to be asleep, now he's awake. Uh, maybe I give him one of these gears? Oh, it's your heart. Here, you want the other gear? No, that, that doesn't work. Um, okay, uh, trash, check the trash. What is that? I know what, th there's a 3D printer I just noticed. So these are probably templates. They're templates for the 3D printer. And now we complete his insides and that's a happy robot who gives you a code, 7912. What do I use it on? <laughs> do I use it on you? No, oh, I hate that. That puzzle looks like it's gonna melt my brain. This puzzle also looks like it's gonna melt my brain. We have to get the blue circles probably inside of that blue section of this ring. <sighs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, there's another puzzle that I, I can't make any sense of at the moment. We'll get around to it eventually. What I would like to do is figure out where to use this code. 7912. Is there? Oh, you know what? 7912. Give me that green light. I love it. So satisfying. All right. Um, we can also just print a key. That seems like a pretty smart thing to do. Bust out the 3D printer. Give me a pink key. Apparently the printer only prints in pink. 
by the way. You can see the, the pink gear came out of it and we got the pink key. So I don't think we're gonna be able to print any more keys, but that's okay. We're gonna figure this out and we're gonna save you, you maniac. Keep putting yourself in this weird situation. I hope you got a lot of oxygen. I don't know how long these puzzles are gonna take to solve. Uh, we don't need the robot anymore, right? So we can change the active module, which makes me sound way smarter than I actually am. I just like saying the word module. What's this thing? Magnifying glass, some kind of circle. Searchings. Oh, okay. This is, of course, the mass altering distributor. Duh. Can't believe you guys didn't know what this machine is called. And I definitely didn't just make that up. We need to shrink the key and we need to get it to an appropriate size for, you know, opening locks. I think that's right. <laughs> that's. That feels like it's too small, right? You gotta go a little bit bigger, but I'm not sure. Okay, you know what? Let's try that and then we'll we'll turn it off. We'll turn on the other thing. Go back to the mass altering distributor. Can we pick up the key? No, which means that it's not the right size. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll come back to it. At least we know what we need to do with that thing. Um, What's going on with this? What, there's like a picture of an astronaut looking at Earth. There's got to be something going on here, though. I just don't know what, obviously. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so we've got like a little constellation thing. <gasps> you know what? Do you think this corresponds to this? How does this work? Okay, we can only move one dot. So that's incredibly confusing. Oh no, you can add. Okay, yes, we can make this work. It's like a weird spaceship sort of shape. I really wish this thing was closer to this, but I think we go that way. I like that. Am I doing this right? Does that seem right? I think it's getting there. Let me check. Yeah, okay, okay. Pull this, is that not right? Oh, oh, I got it, all right totally meant to do that. Wait, actually, I'm kind of trying to use this key that I'm holding to get an idea of the scale of the key that I need for the mass altering distributor. Let's turn that thing back on and then let's uh, make the key a little bit bigger. I, I think that's right. Can I have the key? Yes. All right, there we go. So that's two more keys. Check those off the list. Still got more work to do though. I have no idea what's going on with this thing. I turn it on and it floats around. I don't know what, like, are you, I don't know what to do. We'll come back to you. Just enjoy your life floating around for now. I gotta figure this out, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. We need to get the blue dots next to each other. That's, that's the key, of course. I mean, duh. So if I do that, no. Oh. They're getting closer. They're getting closer to each other. I don't know if that's the play right there. Okay, I think, okay, I got these two next to each other, which is awesome. I think I need to go all the way around with this one and that should get us maybe not quite. Wait, you just do this. Look at me. Okay, there you go. Boom, give me a key. What is that? That's not a key. What is this thing? What do you expect me to do with this? Um, is there something that maybe I can maybe oh, you know what? Maybe it's for this. It was a it was a key card. Everybody knows space stations lock using key cards. It's basically a scientific truth. Okay, now I have to figure out this one, and I hate it. I feel like we had a similar puzzle to this one in the previous level. Don't remember exactly how I did it. <laughs> I think, okay, yeah, I need to keep all the pinks together. And then the same is true of the purples. So we'll, we'll do something like that. Keep the, the pink guys together. And then, oh no, what have I done? Okay, we can make this work. This, this works, right? Yes. Has he done it? I've done it. I've absolutely done it. Oh man. These puzzles are not that complicated, but for some reason, when I get them solved, I, I feel real good. It's making my brain real happy. Let's open another lock. I think there's only three more. What's going on with this guy? Oh, it's a Simon Says thing. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, yeah, pay attention, pay attention. That, that, that. My brain hurts. Wait, this, 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 this left? Okay, I'm glad that it stopped there because if it added any more to that combination, I probably would have forgotten. 
not going to lie. This is so frustrating to watch because you can see the, the green like spaceship thing can never quite catch up to the arm. It's like, oh, you're almost there. No, oh. <laughs> but I have no idea what to do with it. Like what? What are we supposed to do here? Do, does turning this thing off change anything about... Is it just me or is it getting closer? Is the little green triangle spaceship getting closer? Or is it just in my head? I think it's in my head. Maybe I just want to believe. It's like a DVD screensaver. It never hits the corner. It never perfectly fits in that corner. It always does a little boop boop. And you're like, why? Just get in the corner. So frustrating. There's something with this painting that we've got to do, but... I don't know. I really, really don't know. Um, let's turn this thing on and see if anything changes around here when that is on. It doesn't seem like it. Maybe we need to turn a different module on. Oh, there was more in the trash can. I got a wrench or an arm. What should I use it on? Do I use it on? <gasps> It's a little robot. Where did he go? Oh, he's going to bring me a key. Thank you. Thanks, bud. Okay. It still doesn't help me with this situation here, but at least we got another key. Get out of here. All right. The time has come where we just tap everything like an absolute maniac. The moon. What's going on with the moon? Nothing. These drawers. Nothing. There, there's something here, right? Like th this is the only thing that is left that we haven't actually been able to interact with, but I don't know how, like, well, I don't even know what I did there. <laughs> I, I think I just tapped like the, the, um, the triangle, the spaceship, and it went a little bit faster or something. I don't really know, but I'm glad it worked. Um, okay. There's only one more thing left and it definitely has to do with this. I just don't know what to do with this. Um, there's like four dots down here. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Okay. So there's four dots on the hatch. I have no idea what the sequence is. This doesn't tell me anything. Blue? Okay, so we, we have red, green, yellow, blue. <gasps> Maybe if I turn on the robot, he'll help me. Mr. Robot. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yep. It turned on the lights. Okay. So it's green, blue, red, yellow. This was the final piece to our puzzle. Green, blue, red, yellow. There it is. Open the hatch. Get in there, bud. Hooray. The hatch is opened. Should just teleport it in. Just saying. Finally, I can put off this spacesuit and back scratch. And look at me go. I, I beat it in 58 seconds. That's right. Definitely only took me 58 seconds to win. And now we find ourselves heading to the Wild West. Hey, Sheriff, help me out of the unlock this cage. Blah, 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 blah. Dad, why did you get there? He doesn't know. He's insane. Bandits were shooting and I decided to hide in a cage. How's a cage going to protect you? This guy's kind of not very smart. Let's solve some puzzles. So, of course, my guy here has found himself locked in a cage with 12 locks. And uh, it's our job to, to figure out what we need to do. What's going on with the Sheriff hat? Can we poke the Sheriff hat? No, we cannot. This totem pole there. Okay. Can I put them back? I can. So I probably have to put these back in an, a particular order. I would say, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. What's going on with the fire? Maybe, maybe we can put out the fire. Hello, sir. You're a wild west clown of some sort. All right. Looking, looking great. Looking very, very dapper. What's this code? 6931. Do you think this is just for this? 693. Simple enough. I can't go in the teepee. Fair enough. What is going on with this clown? I took his balloon. He's so sad. Sorry. I'm, I'm a little sorry. Can I give it back to you? Oh, I just took something. Oh, there was a key inside of that tumbleweed. That's awesome. It's like a little wood key. Two down, 10 to go. Once again, though, how does he put himself in the cage, put all of the locks on the cage, and then get rid of all the keys? You know, I'm starting to think maybe this is a, a family thing going on here. Maybe his daughter is in on it. Just saying. It's a little suspicious. It's a little suspicious. What's going on with these boxes? You got anything hiding behind these boxes? Oh, there has to be something going on here. If I can tap and they can make a noise, there has to be something. We'll come back to that. 
What's going on? What about this bucket? Oh, I have a bucket now. Four, seven, one. Hello? A little weird. Oh, he popped up uh, the top window. Now he's popping up in the middle window. He kind of looks like uh, he kind of looks like Ernie from Sesame Street. Is that just me? Is it Ernie or is it Bert? You know, Bert and Ernie. That's no, Bert. Bert's the yellow one. He looks like Bert. Hello, Bert. You're now Bert from now on. I don't know what you do though. We'll figure that out later, I guess. What? I didn't want to watch an ad. What is this four, seven, one? I don't know what that does. And then, oh, I made the uh, the propeller on, well, is it a propeller, like the turbine, the fan? I made it go faster on the, on this wind thing. Oh, oh, okay. I just kept tapping it. Popped out a pink key. Awesome. There's something going on with these barrels as well. Don't know what it is. We'll have to figure it out later. Um, I see the water tank. There's a there's a bit of a, a water drought here. Oh, wait, what if I put the bucket? Yes, collect the water, and then I have a bucket full of water. I have an idea. I have an idea. Put out the fire. Put out the fire. Yes, let's go. All right, so we can unlock that. We can unlock that. Still don't know what to do with this balloon. We'll come back to that. This seems like a nightmare. Oh boy. Um, yeah. Oh, it it it's this is gonna be yeah. So you can you can swap pieces, but they have to be do they have to be next to each they don't have to be next to each other. Okay, so maybe this won't be so bad. I know I see like a a, a horse here, and I think these are the horse's legs. Okay, so it's it's kind of coming together, right? And then I think this. This is the cowboy that's on top of the horse. I need to bring his head down. Okay. You got the horse's tail. Here's the here's the back of the Oh. It's all coming together now. I do see what appears to be a sun in the corner. You know what? I think I need to bring this whole thing up because I think these black pieces actually need to go underneath the ground. Yeah. Almost like it's a cloud. Okay, that's interesting. Something about that doesn't feel right. That's not right. Oh, you know what? These two bottom pieces. There you go. It's slowly getting pieced together. Um, I think there's, you gotta start with the corners. It's like a puzzle. Oh my goodness. I feel kind of dumb because it wasn't actually that hard. Boom, there it is. Oh, <laughs> and then it opens more puzzles. Amazing. Uh, oh, gun. Let's try to figure this thing out. <laughs> oh gosh. Um. Okay, I, I think I remember kind of how to work these puzzles. We, we need to get the the green balls on the left side and then the red balls need to go on the right side and the white balls need to go in the middle. So we need to get like everything needs to be swapped basically. I also need to get all of the greens and all of the reds together. I think that's a big step in the right direction and I think I'm kind of doing it. We got most of the greens together but I think what I need to do here is that there you go. Okay. And then we just need to get the two white balls next to each other. Oh man. Okay. I can do this. I can definitely do this, right? No, I think I, I think I kind of messed it up. Mm. Okay, this is okay. If I go this way and then bring this back. Okay, this seems kind of like the opposite of what I should be doing. Oh, no. No, I've separated them more. Oh, gosh. Uh, my brain. It hurts. Wait, I, I think maybe this is the dream. Is this the dream? I, I think I got it. I think I got it. Yes. Yes, they're all together now. Okay, here it is. Oh, okay, that, I'm not gonna lie. That made my brain kind of hurt. Give me a key. I worked hard for that. Thank you. Is there anything else that I can tap here? No, nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, fair enough. Let's use our green key that we worked very hard for. What is going on with this lock? Oh, okay, it's a number lock. Um, There was a three number sequence. Yeah, four, seven, one. I can make that work. Four, seven, one. One, look at that. Still have no idea what to do with this balloon. Um, also the gun, maybe. <gasps> I guess that's one way to take care of boxes. Can I do that on these barrels? Yes, more keys. <laughs> shooting barrels <laughs> incredible all right that's another two keys um the gun did not disappear though which makes me think that there's still another place to use it oh no he busted all his windows now he's gonna be mad <laughs> or he doesn't care at all ah i shot a key out of his hat <laughs> That's what I was aiming for. Was this just his hat? Go ahead and open that guy up. This is going well. I think we only have three more locks. And this one, this is a puzzle. How did, what? Oh, do you have to, you have to light up all of the dots? It's not 
hard. No, maybe if I go this way, maybe I go like this. You have to go like full circle? Yes, no. Maybe there's some kind of pattern somewhere else on the level that I need to replicate. I don't know. That is, that is tricky. What's going on with the cactus? Anything? No, fair enough. I still have the gun. I don't want to shoot at the clown. What am I supposed to do with this thing? Oh, there's another barrel. No, okay, never mind. Shoot at the cactus. I think I need to try and find what this um, balloon is for. So I'm just going to start tapping stuff, seeing if anything works with this balloon. Oh, pop the balloon on the cactus. I should have known that from the start. That was pretty obvious. Okay, that's another one down. All that's left is this rainbow key, which I expect has something to do with this guy. Oh no, this. Oh, th it's so obvious. It's the lock. Look at the colors on the lock. What are they? Orange, green, blue, pink. Orange, green, blue. Let's go. Unlock that bad boy. Okay, so there's only one more, but I don't know what am I trying to make? What's the goal here? Can I crisscross? No, I can't crisscross. Okay, this... I don't, that doesn't seem right. I mean, just going around the outside seems like easiest solution that doesn't work. And then it turns red. We must observe our surroundings. Is there anything that looks kind of like that thing on this level that would give us the answer that we're looking for? Tapping the doors does nothing. I don't see anything. Do I just have to guess? Maybe just do a little square. Why when I make a pattern, does it sometimes turn red and then other times it doesn't? Like what's that? What's going on there? Why is it doing that to me? It turns red. Other times it doesn't. Like now it's not turning red, but it's not right. It's just not red. Why game? Why? Do I need to complete every single line? You know what? I think I do. I think, oh, okay. There you go. We have done it. We have freed our father from his own prison. Hooray, I am free again. Oh no, again, these bandits are here. I need to hide somewhere urgently. Over there, there's another jail cell. Hurry, this time I will not lock with 12 locks, but we'll be hiding behind these boxes. On the bright side, at least he learned his lesson in, again, 58 seconds. I'm so good, too good for my own good. Vlad and Nikki 12 locks. They're gonna lock some stuff up, I guess. There's mini games in this one, which is kind of crazy, but I wanna do puzzles. Hi, my name is Nikki. Shall we have a biscuit, Vlad? That's not a biscuit, that's a cookie. You're crazy. You crazy kids and your biscuits. Oh my gosh, look at that cookie jar though. That's ridiculous. I just want a cookie. It's gonna take me like 12 hours to solve this cookie conundrum. Oh, you're telling me how to get keys, I guess? A little tutorial? Sure, yeah, get the key and then unlock the lock. I've played these games before. Also, maybe you guys have noticed I'm a little congested. I'm sick. In fact, my entire family is sick and it's kind of a bummer, but uh, I can still play video games on the internet for you folks. So that's what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna play some, some 12 locks and solve some puzzles and whatnot. And there's piggy banks and there's pictures. And there was also a baby holding a key. Can I have that? But you're not gonna give it to me. Of course you're not. So we need to make this baby happy so that we can get that key that he is holding. How do you make babies happy? I don't know, as a father of two, I still haven't figured that out. I did just pick up a bicycle pump. What the heck is this? Can I spin it? Yo, that's actually pretty sweet. Nice. Let's open this thing. This seems pretty easy. Just turn it into a flower, right? No, a happy face. We need to find the, the one thing that this, okay, it was a heart, of course. Scissors. I know what we need to do. We cut the baby's hair. So that, th that makes him happy because he needs a haircut. No, that's right. Um, Maybe cut the grass? Yo, that actually worked. Okay, Uh, I'll take that. Gosh, I really want a cookie. Although like when you're all congested and stuff, stuff doesn't taste as good. You ever notice that when you get a cold? It's just not the same. So maybe I I don't want a cookie right now, but I can always save it for later when I'm feeling better. What's going on with this thing? What is, how do I fix this? Oh, okay. So I need to turn it so that the, the pieces line up a little bit better, but they are not lining up well at all. The heck? This is very tricky. No, you know what? We start on the outside because we can't change. Uh, I was not expecting that to be so easy. I actually did that totally on purpose, obviously. Are they buying it? Uh, all right, we got ourselves a purple luck. Let's uh, let's get rid of that guy. What's going on with this arrow? What? Oh, oh, okay. You you know what? That uh, you didn't have to do that. It's like telling me, hey, just put the the banner 
change the colors of the banner to match the picture. I, I feel like I should have figured that out on my own. That was too obvious of a hint, game. Make it a little bit harder on me. So this is green. The second one is pink. The third one is purple. The fourth one is also pink. And the last one's yellow. And that should give us something. It's a, I don't know, a lollipop key? Kind of sticky. Gross. We'll just open up the lollipop lock then. Still don't know how to make this baby happy. Stop crying. It's okay. What's going on with this coin? Corn. What is uh, honestly like seriously? What is going on with this corn? Why is it different colors? Very strange. I don't know if I would eat it. Maybe the baby wants it. Baby does not want corn. Oh, you know what? I'm so dumb. My baby has never liked binkies, honestly, but I'm pretty sure this baby pacified. That's why they call it a pacifier. Pacify the baby. Take the key. Eat the cookie. That is the way of life. There's got to be something going on with this race car in the middle of this living room, which can we talk about this living room for a second? Is this a living room? This is like a playroom or something. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in this room. Aside from the giant cookie jar that has a, a, a massive amount of locks on it, these kids literally have a race car in their living room. They have some kind of insane soda machine in their living room. It's a Coke freestyle machine. You know, the ones where you can like pick all the crazy flavors. I kind of don't like those. It's too complicated. It, it makes my brain hurt. Like, I don't know. Do I want raspberry in my cream soda with a hint of lime? No, probably not. That sounds disgusting. What's this bowl? Do I put the corn in the bowl? Yeah, I do. Okay, what is this? A donut. I love donuts. What do I do with this donut? I have no idea. There, There's a key. Oh, but it's incomplete. Wait, if there's a lock that is brown and pink. No, there isn't because I was thinking like this circle could be the the back of a key or the end of a key and then this part could be the actual like key part of the key and then you put them together and you got yourself a whole key but I don't I don't think that's how this works let's keep spinning this thing that was fun right oh cool okay I just I just made fireballs appear out of nowhere I hate it when I spin a wheel and then fireballs land in my living room it's kind of stinky piggy bank okay maybe uh no okay use the stick no what about this painting no okay uh the tire pump maybe we can pump up ah -ha! yes i gotta go i gotta pump the tire here now we're talking now we're talking okay that's one get the other one pump it up this race car is gonna go race i guess it, it gave me a key pump up the tires of a car and you get the key blue key goodbye what's going on with these valves do we need to oh okay maybe oh Yes. Get it to the green. That was so easy. I have not checked these drawers. Okay, I can't open these drawers. What about the pillows? There's got to be something hiding under these pillows. No? There's always stuff in the seat cushions and pillows of a couch. The soda machine? I don't... What is this thing? Maybe if I put you know what okay wait 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 give me give me that back no i want it back oh maybe i put <gasps> turn it yes okay brilliant so those were the two pieces of a key i'm not insane and now we have a proper key to unlock the polka dot lock is there a key code somewhere? We need to find a number sequence. I don't see any numbers anywhere. Oh, you know what? Can these open? They can. There's a number sequence for you. Five, six, one, nine. Don't mind if I do. Easy mode. What is this thing? Um. That. That was very easy. Probably one of the easiest puzzles we've ever solved in 12 locks. And yet, I'm still kind of proud of myself. <laughs> Listen, I'm functioning on a brain that has not had as much sleep as it needs. And also, I'm I'm sick. Give me credit where credit's due, okay? All right, let's see if there's more stuff in these cabinets. There's a pink key. Do I have a pink lock? Oh, I do. And actually, there's only one more lock left. We need a red key. Oh, you know what? We spin this bad boy. Get that red key. No, I don't care. Get out of here. Just keep spinning. Just keep spinning. Give me the red key, red key, red key, red key. Okay, grumpy lady, get out of here. Keep going, keep going. Yes! Yes, thank you. Saved. And give me my cookies. Give me my cookies. Let's go. Hooray! The jar is open. And now we have all the biscuits we could ever ask for. Yum, yum. I like it. I like it a lot. Level bonus. I got 100 coins. Thank you. Watch short video ad to multiply your score. I don't know what the coins do, but you know what? I'm gonna do it. I've multiplied my coins. Let's go figure out, like, what to do with them. Oh, you use them to unlock levels. You know, yeah, boy. I'm just gonna 
Okay, I have enough coins now to purchase the next level. Um, let's, let's do it. Hi, my name is Vlad. Today, I will show you how fast I can drive my lorry. That's a British term for like a truck, right? Whose bright idea was it to lock my lorry with all these locks? It was the other kid whose name I forget. Nikki, Nikki, I got it. I was starting to think it was Plasticine Man from the original. In the world is happening here. Okay, let's pick up this hammer. And then uh, we got like a vending machine, which also has a person inside of it. Uh, so I, I'm guessing we need to bring coins to, to Nikki. Uh, we also have a car with no wheels. So that's a thing that we're going to have to figure out. Smash the piggy bank. Smash it. Smash it. Let's go. All right. Get, get these uh, these coins in there and then uh, give me some of these items. I'll save the key for last. Uh, we'll figure out what to do with these battery and scissors. Cut the plant. That's what we did in the first one. No, okay. Three, nine, seven, one. Is there a number sequence? Three, nine, seven, one. Okay, it's not for that one. What about this one? You know what? The numbers were orange. So yeah, okay. So there's gonna be blue numbers for a different sequence somewhere else. I'm so smart. There it is. A239 is right there up on the wall. Let's try that. Eight, two, three, nine. Brilliant and obvious and pretty easy. But again, I got cold brain. What is this thing? It looks like a loaf of bread that someone just bit the top four times. It's a little strange. Let's try to figure out this. Oh, okay. So I, I think I just need to guide this ball past all these uh, saw blades. It, this, this isn't so bad. I can do this. This doesn't require a lot of brain power. It just requires a little bit of timing and I can handle that. It's where the brain power comes in that everything gets thrown out the window. We just got a gear key. Where's the gear lock? There it is. One down to 12 or 11 to go. Well, actually, we already solved a couple of the, the keypad ones, so we probably have like nine more keys. What is this thing? What? I don't understand this. We'll come back to that later. Oh, we've got some different colored balls. Okay. Also, there there's like a Oh, uh, yeah, there's a room in here. Oh, this is the room that we started in. So we're just outside of the room that we were in before. Okay. Do you think I can put these colored balls in these squares? No, that's not how that works. Fair enough. Oh, you know what? Maybe. Yes. Okay. But this is probably not correct. It's definitely not correct. But yeah, I can pick them back up. So we have to put these colored balls into this thing in the correct order. Oh, I see. A green light lights up when you put it in the right spot. Okay, I'm on to you, game. Yes. Blue. Yes. Red. He's done it. We got the flower key. Unlock the flower lock. What do you suppose we do with this battery? Maybe we put it in this thing? Yo! Oh, it's gonna knock the bottle down. Okay, never mind. <gasps> Wait, it is. It is. I just gotta keep tapping it until it knocks the bottle off of the table. Yes, we can do this. Give me the gold key. Give it to me, let's go. Awesome, gold lock. Goodbye, you have been defeated. What's going on with this box? Let's figure this out. Okay, it's a match two game. Okay, hearts, I, I know where the heart is. That's one. Star, got it. Looking for a flower, easy. Uh. Okay, we didn't get that one. Oh, we got the rocket, green key. Get out of here. Happy face, I win, I'm the best. Also a very easy puzzle, but I'll take it right now. Remove the tire jack, making pretty good progress. I don't know if a child should be driving a semi truck, but I'm about to facilitate that. Oops, let's continue, shall we? Tires, oh, okay, oh wait. Wasn't there a car that had no tires? Yeah, plop those bad boys down. All right. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay, suddenly became a mini game. Don't run into the piles of dirt in the middle of the road. Why are there so many piles of dirt in this road? Oh gosh, get over there. Okay, dodged. Excellent driving skills. Keep it going. Blue key, take it and win. Thank you. Get rid of that. What about this thing? There's there's like a, a picture of a shape. That's gotta be telling us something. There, there's gotta be, oh, you know what? This, maybe? It's like a Y. That's exactly it. Got ourselves a black key. Go ahead and remove that lock. Still don't know what to do with these scissors. Also, there is a bush that I can tap. And there's the grumpy lady again. Maybe if I keep tapping, something will happen? Keep tapping, something will happen. A rhyme to live life by. Maybe I can use the scissors on the bush? <laughs> I'm just taking chunks of the bush away. Okay, there you go. Thank you. That's another key down. We only have two more? No, three more. Brown, colored, and red. 
What's going on with this thing? This, these squares, I don't understand. There's gotta be something that we, we place in those maybe. Oh, I found a key or not a key, a coin. Oh, I can get the red key. Vending machine. Give me a red key. Thank you. Oh, what? Okay. There's more stuff in here. Give me all this stuff. Give me the stuff. Oh, these go in the squares. It's so obvious. There you go. Now what? <laughs> oh, I, I have to. Yeah, okay. Vlad and Nikki. V and N. And now I have the rainbow key. There's just a brown key somewhere. But where? <laughs> maybe maybe Hello. Vlad has it. Maybe Happy. Nikki has it. Yeah. Give me the brown key. What about these coconuts? The only reason I went after the coconuts was because all the other trees didn't have coconuts. And it was that easy. Hop in, kiddo. Take your, your semi truck down the road. It's very dangerous. I wouldn't even feel comfortable driving a semi truck and i have a driver's license that kid pretty sure he does it we've unlocked my lorry you're welcome please don't run anybody over we're on a deserted island and of course we have uh, some kind of ice chest apparently it's full of ice cream life saving ice cream uh you guys know the drill we need to solve puzzles and i see a snail nope i can't take the snail okay never mind there's a fishing pole okay we're gonna go fishing that's something that's gonna happen coconuts talk to me coconuts are not talking to me what is this little green guy well hello welcome to my inventory i don't know what you do but i'll try and figure it out eventually ah it's the angry lady hello angry lady oh Oh, thanks for the cookie. Must have. Whoa, my gosh. There's so much stuff in that basket. I was going to say that cookie probably came out of remember the world's most locked and biggest cookie jar ever. There's another snail. Can't take the snail. What about angry lady? Wow, Nikki. How are you? I'm great. Vlad, Nikki. Oh, you're not asking me. You're asking Vlad and Nikki. Okay, that's fine. Umbrella. Nothing. Baby. Adorable. Oh. Crab. Oh, wait. Maybe. Okay. Maybe we can like guide the crab. Whoa. Um... <laughs> What is the goal with that? Wait a second. What if, well, does, doesn't that work? It's a continuous line. Go crab, go do crab stuff. Walk across this thing that I created for you. Maybe, I don't I'll come back to that later. There are mounds of sand, obviously. What is this? Oh, I see, okay. We need to place the objects next to the matching object. That makes sense in my head. But how do we do, oh, okay. So, but you can only switch objects that are near each other. Oh man, okay. This is actually super easy. I've already got it. I, I I thought that was gonna be way more complicated than it actually ended up being, and I'm okay with that. Give me my snail key. That's our first key. Also another little green man. Add him to the inventory. I have so much stuff in my inventory. What do I do with all this stuff? Okay, what, what's going on with the dartboard? Maybe, maybe we throw darts? We have like, are these darts? They are darts. Okay, let's, let's keep throwing darts. Maybe it's telling us something. We got a, we got a blue, a red, and a green dart so maybe there's some kind of um colored number sequence that we need to sort out somewhere i think we can go fishing right here i see a fish did that actually use the fishing rod i don't know if that well yeah no it did because the fishing rod disappeared from my inventory we know the drill if it disappears from your inventory you used it correctly hopefully or i just broke the game talk to me coconuts still not talking to me fair enough another green guy we also have surfboards dirty surfboards i might add um is there anything that i could use to like clean them uh, what is this what am i doing oh, oh okay I, I accidentally brought up the the menu <laughs> Dude, okay, yeah, we need to take out all the stars. Oh, beautiful, beautiful shot. I'm not sure exactly how this game controls. It's actually kind of wonky, but I'm kind of doing it, so I'm okay with it. Oh, there's another one down. <coughs> Got it? One more. Beautiful. Give me a key. 3952. I don't know. Maybe there's a there's a number pad somewhere. There there is number pads on the actual uh ice cooler. Let's let's unlock some keys here. Let's use our snail key. Do we have any other keys? Yeah, we have a red one. Get out of here, red lock. What color were the numbers? They're like purplish blue. Does that matter? Mm, I guess we could no, this this ain't it. Wait a second. One we, we just gotta find two and then three. Okay, one, two, three, four. Where's four? Okay, one, two, three, four. I saw five. I think it's in the lower left. Uh, don't remember where six is. Oh, seven? That hurts. We're seven. Okay, this is actually kind of hard 
to remember. Five, six, seven. Was it in the upper left? Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Oh, let's go. All right. All right. My brain didn't fail me this time. This time. But don't worry. It'll fail me later. Is this where we put in that code? Three, nine, five, two, nine, five. It is. Oh, okay. What is this thing? Looks like a broken plate or something. What in the what? What am I? Yo, oh, I didn't even know that it was supposed to be a shell. I mean, I knew exactly what I was doing from the very beginning. I was actually just testing you guys. Totally. Yep. All right. We'll move right along. You know what this baby probably wants? A cookie. Okay, never mind. He doesn't want a cookie. Is there anything else in this bag? No? Okay, fair enough. What's going on with the sand castle? There's like a, you know what we need? We need a flag. Is that a paintbrush? I have a paintbrush. That's not going to help me. What do I do with these little green men? Do I put them in front of the surfboards maybe? No. Okay. What about the sand cast? Oh, okay. And there's your flag. It just needed, it needed citizens to earn a flag. That's what castles need. All right. Get out of here, yellow lock. What do I do with this cookie? Let's see if we can catch this little fish with our bucket. Where'd the fish go? Come back. Get him. Get him. Didn't work. Okay. Never mind. Maybe we can collect snails in our bucket. No. Okay. Um, maybe, maybe we put the, the crab in the bucket or give the crab a cookie. So he has a little incentive. No. Okay. What about this paintbrush? Nope. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, it's not a paintbrush. It's a shovel. Oh my gosh. Okay. Enjoy your shovel, kiddo. So we got this little golden lock solved. What do I do with the cookie? Maybe Nikki, hey, you, you want it? Vlad? No? Okay. Mom? Nope. All right. Nobody wants this cookie. Give it to the fish. Nope. <laughs> okay. What is this? We got some kind of crazy looking sequence here. So snail, coconut, heart. What does that mean? Sna maybe, maybe we got to count the number of each of those things. Okay. You know what? Let's do that. We got one snail. We got two snails and we've got, I'm pretty sure there's a third snail, three snails. Okay. We'll set that to three. Now coconuts. One, two, three. There's another tree. No coconuts on that tree. Okay, fair enough. Two more, five, three more, eight. Okay, I'm going with it. And then I did see a heart. There's a heart on one of the surfboards. There's a heart on the purse. Okay, using my noggin. One, two. Is that it? Just two. Maybe, just maybe. Man! Okay, I feel good about that one. Let's check these other locks then. You know what? Maybe this uh, lines up with the, the dartboard, right? Because we had red, blue, green. Red, blue, green. Red, blue, green. Where are you? Yeah. Yes, red, blue, green, four, two, five. Let's do it, four, two, five, let's go. This looks like it's gonna be similar, but it's pink, green, and blue. Is there anything that's pink, green, and blue? Not that I've actually noticed. Oh, pink, green, and blue, it's the surfboards. But here's the problem. I'm pretty sure the numbers are covered up by this mud. So we need to get rid of this mud and, Maybe like we can put the yes. Okay. I was going to say maybe we need to put water in the bucket and then like splash it on the surfboards. It, it seems like the bucket already came with water. So there you go. And then the bucket's going to disappear because we don't need it anymore. Brilliant. Seven, two, five. Get out of here, lock. <laughs> Look at Vlad's face. I think he may have just farted. Seven, two, five. But there's still two more keys and I have no idea what to do with this cookie. Let's just start poking around, I guess. I'm Umbrella? Maybe the, the clouds? Check the clouds. They're looking looking kind of sus. No? Okay, never mind. That fish. That fish is really bothering me. He's up to no good. Put the cookie in the water? No, that doesn't work. I'm trying. Beach ball. We already did that. Maybe the little green people want the, the cookies? No? Okay. The crab! Where are you going, dude? Okay! Thank you. Thank you so much. Orange me. There is but one more key. And there's actually one more puzzle. And it's this thing right here. And I don't understand like maybe maybe we got it yes okay yes 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 okay I, I was trying to figure out like what where did we go wrong but we had to like make it level with the crab everybody knows crabs don't like to jump or drop down they want to stay perfectly level I just made that up, by the way. And we got ourselves the star key. Give me my ice cream. Yes, saved. Now we can live on this island for, I don't know, a, a couple hours more with the sustenance of ice cream. Hooray, here is our ice cream. Yummy. So 
in order to unlock more levels, I need to collect more coins. And in order to get more coins, I need to play some mini games, which actually seems pretty cool. So let's try out some of the mini games. What is this? I must select a car. Uh, okay, let's go. Jump. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. That is quite the jump in a vehicle. Okay. Yeah. Give me these coins. Give me all the coins, in fact. Fantastic. More coins. Oh, magnetic power. Don't mind if I do. This Man, his jumps are so impressive. Oh, I just murdered a bird in a car. I hate it when I do that. It reminds me of one time. I, I've never actually hit an animal in a car, okay? I just want to be very clear. But th there was one time me and my wife were driving, like, by the ocean. And uh, kid you not, like, this insanely massive... I don't even know what it was. It was like a it was like a condor or something. The thing flew like three feet from our windshield. It was insane, but it was fine. It's okay. The bird was fine. Although if coins came out of it, maybe I would have tried to it aimed a little bit better. No, that's awful. I just earned 200 coins running over birds in the air. Yeah, you know what? Multiply my score. I just doubled the coins that I got. All right, let's do one more. What is this? like balloon popping game. Okay, let's do it. Start. I don't quite understand how this works, but I, I guess like you want to hit as many as you can in, in with one throw. Man, it's kind of hard. <laughs> oh, I understand. I only have 42 seconds left. You got to go faster than that, my dude. I am very bad at this. Oh, that's a giant one. Get destroyed. Oh, that was beautiful. More coins. Incredible. Incredible gameplay. In incredible skill. 10 more seconds. Oh, give me a big boy. Pop! Thank you. Incredible. So I didn't actually get as many coins for this mini game, but it didn't take as long. I don't think it did. I don't know. It probably doesn't matter. What in the world is this? Select a boat? Okay. What am I doing? I'm just, I'm doing the same thing, but now I'm in a boat. And now I'm murdering dolphins and fish. Oh, I so wanted to jump on top of that bird. Turn them into coins. Give me the magnet. Yes, please. I wish that I could like keep that power up forever. And they're not actually dolphins. Dolphins, they're sharks, which doesn't make it any better, okay? Sharks are wonderful creatures. Oh, that poor fish was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I also missed a clock, which I think probably extends the amount of time that I get to actually ride in my boat. I'm currently missing a lot of coins. Feels kind of bad. Oh, we're going fast. Oh my gosh. Cool it, dude. I'm missing too many coins. You're going too fast. That didn't help me at all. This is fine. This is fine. This is totally fine. All right, I survived. These kids are insane. And this time, we're pirates. I feel like if there's ever a good reason to have 12 locks on something, it's actually pirate treasure, pirate booty, yar, and stuff like that. So yeah, let's do it. All right, as is usual, there's a lot of locks, 12 of them. I would assume I'm not actually going to count because I can actually only count to 11, but let's get to it. We're, we're on a pirate ship, which is actually super cool. Um, Pull up the anchor, Avast me hearties. <laughs> Is that the anchor? It's a key. The anchor was literally a key. I don't know if that's gonna hold down an entire ship, but if it works, it works. What about the wheel? Can I can I turn the wheel? No? Okay. There's a purple balloon. Can I pop it? There's gotta be a way to pop that balloon. Um, also I have some kind of, I don't know, is that a light bulb or something? I don't know. We'll find a place for it. Wait, I can keep going this way. Oh, hello, angry lady. Just hanging out in the middle of the ocean. Can I have that? Okay, now I have two parts of something that I don't know what to do with. Cool, great, we're doing great, thank you. What in the world is going on here? Maybe, okay, maybe I need to stop them when they're pointing up. Nailed it. That's precisely what I have to do. Give me my key. Give me, okay, let's go, polka dot key. Just gonna use that guy real quick. Fair enough. You got anything under your pirate hat? Oh, you totally did. Do you got more under that pirate hat? Do you have anything under your, you do. Okay, more of these things. I don't even know what these are. They're all over the place. I got another one, baby. Oh, you're hiding the entire key in your hat. That's incredible. You know what? I think these might actually be for the like handles, maybe? Yes, we've done it. We figured out what they're for. I thought they might be light bulbs at first, but because they were all like angled differently, I was starting to use my noggin, which is rare. 9128. 9128. Should we just go straight for this? Easy mode. I'm too good. 
I see like a rotary phone on the front of this thing. That's a little weird. Slightly more modern pirates. I don't think pirates had access 1500s style pirates. I don't think they had rotary phones out there in the open seas. So these are these are slightly newer pirates that they had more advanced technology. What in the world is this? Oh, it's a puzzle. It's oh, I get it. Okay, so it's the uh, it's the symbol of the pirate, the the skull and crossbones, right? So we just need to flip everything into the proper position. This isn't too bad. A few taps here, a few taps over there. This is actually a super easy puzzle. More of these, please. These are great for my brain because my brain doesn't always work very good. And that's a very easy puzzle that I appreciate. I see a slingshot and it comes with some ammo. I can't help but feel like I need to pop some balloons. Pop them. Oh, baby. And we got more handles for the, the, the boat wheel. I don't know. What's the steering wheel of a boat called? <laughs> It's in my head, but it's not just called a steering wheel. What is the steering wheel on a ship called? I can't believe I just Googled this. Oh my gosh. This is like a three page article. Most inexperienced sailors would refer to the steering wheel as the boat wheel. Others would say it's a steering wheel, which is precisely what I said. Oh my gosh. It goes on and on. Just tell me. There's actually kind of a lot of contradicting information in this article that I'm reading. I guess people call it the ship's wheel or the helm. That Okay, the helm sounds good. So let's just stick with that. Let's pop more balloons. What is that? What, oh, it's a code. Five, three, six, one. Is it for this? Three, six, one. No, I don't. I don't know why there's numbers on the side of this boat. I guess we'll figure that out later. Oh, we got another steering wheel handle and a cannonball. Oh, I think I saw a cannon earlier. Did I see a cannon? I don't know. Let's just pop that balloon. There was nothing in that balloon. That's incredibly disappointing. But I think that uh, we got the last bit of the handles. Yeah, give me a key. Let's go. Use the pink key. Use the white key. Got to figure out what this cannonball is for. Uh, there's the cannon. There it is. Oh my gosh. I'm about to blast a seagull out of the sky. Get him. Oh my gosh. I just murdered a bird with a, with a cannon. I'm so sorry. Slight overkill, I would say. You know what? This card that I have, I wonder if this goes on the numbers. It totally does. One, six, eight. There's a color outline. So one is blue, six is red, eight is green. I can't help but feel like maybe it's this. Yes. So this was eight. Am I insane? What were, what were the numbers again? No, six. Okay. Red is six. Blue is one. Green is eight. Six, one, eight. Six, one. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. Only a couple more puzzles and then we get ourselves some pirate treasure. What in the world am I supposed to do here? What? Oh, oh, there's shadows. Okay, yes. Place the the items on top of the shadow that it's shaped like. That That's like super easy. Um, do you go here? You go here? You go over here? No, you go here. And then you go here. He's done it. Lock removed. What do we do with this rotary phone? There's got to be a code somewhere. Did we do that one? Nine one. We already did nine one two eight. Was there another code? Wait, we didn't pick this thing up. Five three six one. Let's see if that works. Maybe we need to call someone. How do how do you use this dumb thing? You rotate. It. It's oh oh gosh. Okay. How, uh, okay. Five and then three and then six and then one. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wasn't sure if I was doing that right. Not too familiar with how rotary phones work, but I feel like maybe I've watched enough like old movies or something. I'm old, but I'm not that old. What's going on here? Do we just need to level the scales maybe? So I feel like if three goes over there and then maybe one, <laughs> that was super easy. Black key for me. And then what is this? What? Oh, okay. I can do this. This is actually super easy. So it's like one of those like ice sort of like puzzles, like Zelda style, where it won't stop until it runs into something. I've already got it figured out. There you go. Boom. Give me my red key. I think we just did it. I think that's the last key. Black key, red key, pirate booty. What? It, was that literal gold? Or it's just a treasure chest full of like lucky charms. Either way, that was a success. We have a cat puzzle. What does that mean? I don't know. Let's find out. Look how many cats there are here. There's a lot. But this kitten is locked in a cage for some reason. No, I need to save the cat. And of course, some kind of maniac put 12 locks on it. I love how many cats. Look, there's a big old purple cat hanging out on top of the cage for the cat. Do you have anything for me, purple cat? You, I took your hat. 
I'm gonna give it to one of the kids. Nope, never mind. What's going on with this picture? Oh my gosh, look at all the cute little kittens. There's a ball of yarn? Oh, okay. Maybe I can direct this to one of the cats and get something good for it. Here, have that. Did that work? <laughs> that totally worked. I can't believe it. I got a key made of yarn. And I see a lock made of yarn. The only way to defeat a lock made of yarn is with a key made of yarn, not scissors. Don't be weird. That would be cheating. There's a mouse. I just grabbed a mouse. Okay. <laughs> there's so many things to interact with. What is that? Okay. There's got to be some kind of sequence to that or something. I don't really know. There's a lot going on here, though. We got cat kibble. Or it kind of looks like cat poo. I'm not going to lie. But I'm pretty sure it's cat food. We got a cup. I got another cup. Oh, man. There's so much stuff going on. Is there anything under the pillows? Why is there a paw print over there? I don't know. What is this? Two star circle heart three. What is this? Is this like a matching game? Okay. Oh, we can totally do this. Boom, that's one down. We need a brown cat. Purple cat. Purple cat. Upper left. Don't, that was a black cat. Purple cat. There he is. Black cat. Goodbye. Brown cat. You're down here. We're doing it. I don't know where the orange cat is. Okay, white cat and then orange cat. I win. I'm the best matcher. It's actually super easy. Let's unlock that one and uh, we'll go this way. I think the cats. Oh, oh, okay. I understand. Oh, you need to go into the orange basket. You need to go. Okay, yeah. So we got to... Put the right colored cat into the right basket. Do you think that we need to go find the rest of the cats or is there only two in each basket? Why aren't you going? And then, yeah, okay, that was it. Just had to color coordinate our cats. What is this? It's a bottle. What What are you, what are you doing, cat? So many cats. Hey, what is this box? There's a cat in a box. Keep tapping, keep tapping. Get him out of there. Get out of there. He's not gonna get out of there. Mouse, mouse goes in mouse hole. Yes, mouse gets cheese. Yes, go, get, get the cheese, get the cheese. You know you want that cheese. Oh, that's good stuff right there. Mouse maze. I can handle this. I can handle mouse mazes. Beautiful. Beautiful. More cheese. All the cheese. Okay, this is not hard. And again, very much appreciate it. If, it w if these puzzles got any harder, my brain might melt, which would be bad. We just got a cheese key. I feel like if there's a cheese lock, though, can I just eat it? Don't be ridiculous. Let's get rid of these. Do we have any other keys? No, no other keys. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Wait, brown cat with a bow tie wearing a top hat. I have a top hat in my inventory. Do you think I need to dress? Oh my gosh, do you want this? Oh, I was thinking maybe I needed to dress a brown cat. You, aren't you the one that I got the, the hat from? You need a bow tie. The bow tie, it's on the kid's neck. Give him the bow tie. There you go, we've completed the look. <laughs> And we have earned ourselves a golden key. Incredible. Okay, there's still a lot more going on. And um, I'm not sure what to do. But hey, let's let's try to figure this out. Go in the mouse hole? Okay. Maybe go into the... Sure. Um, Go up? Okay. This doesn't feel like the right way to do this. But maybe if I go this way and then I get spit out... Okay, no, this is... Wow. This one's tough. This one's tough. Go this way. E no. Go this way and then go to the right. I don't know about that. Oh my gosh, this is so confusing. Okay, maybe if I go up through that one. No. Maybe if I go left through this one and then right through this one. <gasps> yes. And then up. No. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, wait. What if I go right through? No, that takes me through there. What if I go left through it? Ah! These mouse holes are so confusing. Why? Why do they keep popping me out in different places? What is happening? Oh, my gosh. I'm so confused. I am very, very confused right now. <sighs> I feel like I've tried every single combination of going through these mouse holes and none of them are working. I don't know what to do. No, that just takes me down. If I go up through this one, it just pops me up up there. I just want the green key. That's all I ever wanted. Okay, this is actually the hardest thing I think I've ever done in 12 locks history ever. And it doesn't seem that hard. But it is. It's impossible. It's impossible. It can't be done. It's humanly impossible. Oh my gosh. That was so stupidly easy. Now I'm mad. All right. Well, at least we... <laughs> <laughs> you figured it out after an embarrassing amount of time. What's going on with this cat? What are you what are you doing in there? You just being weird? There's got to be something here. Maybe if we give him some kibble? Oh! Do I have to give him more to eat? He's he's not leaving. <laughs> I have to find him more food? I don't know. What's going on with these banners? What? Oh, there's numbers. Okay. Three, seven, two, five, eight. Three, seven, two, five, eight. 
three seven two five eight maybe three seven two five eight okay wait colors pink green and yellow pink green yellow pink seven green three yellow five seven three five seven three five seven three five yes slowly but surely we're solving the puzzles still have no idea what to do with this guy here you want a cup do you, you want this cup do you want something to drink no okay fair enough what about you you want something to drink wait there's something behind this dude i gotta get this guy out of the way how do i get this cat out of the way there's definitely numbers behind him wait have we we haven't done this what does this mean oh no <laughs> Wait, star, red, and then turn his eye into a heart? That doesn't seem right. It's definitely not right. What is this? I don't know what to do with that box. Maybe there's a cat that looks like that. Is there a white cat? Well, there's the white cat in the cage, but I don't think that's what we're looking for. And I have no idea what's going on with this thing. Wait, 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 wait. You keep all of them below the line? No, that's not, that's not it. I'm tapping everything and nothing's happening. I don't know what to do here. Oh, we can change his whiskers? Maybe, maybe this is. Then you got a red and then a heart. Oh my gosh, I got a fish. So in case you were wondering, I guess like the two numbers on the sides were how many whiskers you had to put on his face. So that was the part that we were missing. I didn't know you could change the number of whiskers, but once I figured that out, it sort of made sense. What do I do with this fish? Maybe I give it to that fat cat in the box. Take this. Oh, he's so fat. That's incredible. How'd you even fit in that box, dude? Okay, that's another key, but I am very stuck right now. There's like symbols on some of these different things. So like we saw like this purple cat and then you see the, the black paw print and then there's another purple over here. Why though? <gasps> It's a number code. Okay, so we have to look for how many of each of these icons show up. So there's one purple cat, two purple cat, three purple cat, three. Okay, so we'll put three underneath the purple cat. And then we need to find paw prints. I know I saw one on the couch. Okay, there's one. There's two. I see two. Two paws. And then hearts. I don't remember seeing any hearts. Oh, there's a heart. Okay. Are there any other hearts? Does the heart on the cat's eye count? I don't know about that one. Let's go with one. One heart? Is it literally one, two, three? <laughs> All right, fair enough. So we figured out that. I have no idea what's going on with this. This is very confusing. I mean, obviously these are like cat toys, right? But, but what do they do? <laughs> None of the cats want to play with it. Also, what am I supposed to do with this bottle? Oh, uh, but why? Maybe he knocks over all the stuff. <laughs> What? Just the sole purpose of this puzzle is to break stuff? Oh my gosh. I genuinely can't believe that did something, but I'll take it. There's still a red key somewhere. Where? No clue. We still don't know what this thing does. And we've got to get this cat to move. Oh, I was able to just drag him over. Okay, fair enough. 8511. He's done it. Don't worry, little kitty. We're going to get you out of there. We only need to find one more key. And I'm pretty sure it has something to do with this. And I have no idea what to do with this. What in the world? I mean, clearly we see the line. Maybe, okay, maybe you have to make them all like hit the line at the same time. Dog! That was it. You had to make them all hit the line at the same time, but they had different speeds at which they returned to their original spot. Oh my gosh. All right, little white kitty, you're saved. <laughs> Oh, you are adorable, and I'm very happy that we got to save you. Hooray! The kitten is free. <laughs> yes, it is so cute. Welcome back to 12 Locks. We're going to the zoo. Can we ride this horse? I guess, but first we need to unlock all these locks. That poor horse. Who put all those locks on the horse's carriage? It's messed up. Also, typically you don't ride horses at a zoo. Oh my gosh, look at these little chicks. Oh, I can pick them up. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these little chicks, but they're very cute. Um, I, I can't help but notice this, this latch lock. Um, I, okay, so I just need to move this to, to the other latch and then that should open that. Yeah, that was, that was pretty easy. Okay. Are you hiding anything, Vlad? No. Oh, another chick. <laughs> 
just walking around with a bunch of chicks in my hands. There's more. Oh my gosh, I've got five chicks. What am I supposed to do with these things? Anyways, what about Nikki? Nothing. You're just gonna laugh at me. That's a that's a lion in a cage. Don't touch the lion. Oh, I like how my first instinct is to touch the thing that says don't touch. I touched it. And it gave me a code. 7275. Is it this? 7275? It totally is. I'm a genius. Look at that horse. <laughs> I can tap the horse. I love it. All right. Anyways, um, can I pet the lion? Oh, that is the cutest lion roar ever. It's it, it, you think that maybe this is just a cat that's wearing like a, a mane wig. It's actually just a yellow cat. A very fat one. Well fed. I noticed this carrot. Okay. Yep. I've got myself a carrot. Oh my gosh. Look at these turtles. They're so cute. Oh, what? What am I supposed to do here? You think I have to like swap? the sides that the the turtles are on oh this seems seems complicated i think i'm i think maybe i'm doing something correct possibly it's hard to say at this point but let's see it totally worked okay just swap the sides they they <laughs> They were in a stalemate. They were just staring each other down. They didn't know what to do. I want to go to that side. We want to go to that side. We're in each other's way. They needed some support, and I'm glad that I could help them. That's a giraffe, and his head is just going clearer into the sky. Mr. Giraffe, hello? Can we can we get this guy to, to maybe do something? Oh, I love the flamingos. Oh, oh, I can change their positions, and there's... Okay, look at the sign. Holy cow, that's an alligator. <laughs> Don't touch that guy. I've had some bad experiences with alligators in previous games. Maybe you've seen it. It was a whole thing. I may or may not have lost an arm in the video game. Okay, I gotta focus though. I gotta figure out, like, do you think maybe, do giraffes eat carrots? Let's find out. Maybe I can put it in the bowl? Do, <laughs> do giraffes eat baby chicks? I hope not. That would be kind of messed up. Okay, but okay, I, we'll come back to the giraffe. Let's get these flamingos situated because I think I think I got this. I got to get... Okay, yep, yeah, that's the position for the first one. And then the second one is just standing with his head aimed up like he's, like he's about to drink some rain. You guys ever hear that? I think it's a wives tale. I don't think it's real, but like that whole thing that like turkeys are so dumb that when it rains, they look up and they drowned. I don't think that's true but now I have to Google it. Do turkeys drown in the rain? It was actually a, a, a Google autocomplete. Myth, turkeys left outside in the rain have been known to look skyward and drown, which is very funny, kind of sad. Fact, this is false. Baby turkeys can drown in rain, but you wouldn't leave a baby human outside all alone either. Fair enough, fair enough. Poor turkeys getting a bad rap. Everybody thinking they're that dumb. They're not. Okay, let's fix the flamingos. See, yeah, yeah. You gotta bend your leg. Yes! Let's go. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Crocodile, alligator, whatever you are. You look real mean. What happens if I tap you? Nothing. Can I, wait, what is this? It's like a pulley system? Okay. Subconsciously, I did just try to feed that crocodile a baby chick. That's messed up. Oh, it's an elephant. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is a really cool level. I love this. I also appreciate that the baby is just hanging out on top of an elephant. That seems kind of dangerous. What do I do with you? Maybe you eat carrots? No, you don't want carrots? Okay, fair enough. Oh, snake. Do I feed the baby chicks to the snake? I can't do that, but I'm gonna try. Okay, don't. Oh, it's a mini game. I'm gonna grab another carrot since it's there. Um, how does this work? Oh, I see. I understand. I, no, come on, snake. Try this again. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you gotta turn, dude. You gotta turn. You gotta turn, turn. Okay, turn again. No, no, nope, nope. Oh, he's getting, he's growing. I understand. This is the game Snake, which was on cell phones probably like 20 years ago, but I used to play a lot. Definitely getting a little bit harder here. Oh, no. okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just one more. He's done it. He's the greatest snake ever. And <laughs> the snake literally turned into a key. So sorry, Mr. Snake. What is going on here? He's like ground squirrels. Why Why is this ground squirrel giving me thumbs up? Hey, you got a key. You got anything else in there? Anything else? Can I take that peanut? I just took a peanut. Okay, that ground squirrel gave me a key. Thanks, bud. Is that a lever? Okay, <laughs> there's so many parts. Look at all the things I have in my inventory. Holy cow. All right, Um, right, what's going on with this bowl? <gasps> I put the chicks in the bowl. They all need to go into the little nest. It's not a bowl. It's actually a nest. Five little chicks in the nest. And they gave me a key. What about this thing? Oh, I get it. 
Okay, we gotta bring the banana to the monkey. Enjoy that. Bring the salmon to the bear, and then bring the bone to the dog. Let's use some of these keys that we have. I've got way too many keys in my inventory. Okay, we got the pink one, we got the snake. I think I just killed a snake. I turned it into a key, and then I used the key, and it just disappeared from existence. I feel kind of bad about that. Anyways, blue key, yellow key. Is that it? That's it for keys. There's only four more keys. We're doing a great job. Ah, we have the handle for the lever. Do I just, maybe I crank it this way to, no? Crank it the other way. Oh, there's bunnies. And they want the carrots. Give them the carrots. Oh, I'm a genius. <gasps> Elephants love peanuts, right? That's a thing. Eat the peanut. Give me a key. The elephant key. The greatest of all keys. What's left to do? <laughs> there is a lock that looks a lot like the giraffe. So there's a giraffe key, and then there's a red key somewhere. We still haven't really interacted with the alligator, which has me thinking that we're missing something here. How do we, maybe we can, maybe we can move something. No, that's not working. I've used everything that was in my inventory. So maybe there's other inventory items, maybe something. Whoa, I just grabbed some leaves. Okay, um, what about the baby? You got anything for me, dude? No? Maybe the giraffe wants the leaves. Put it in the bowl. <laughs> I'm so glad that he came down to visit us. Can I open this door now? No, I can't open the door. I love that we can see the giraffe's head now. That's so good. Who knows how high up his neck goes? It's like 40 feet in the air. And then he bends and goes back down. There's something with this cross. Crocodile. I just don't know what. Let's unlock that one. And there's only one more key. Tap the alligator's mouth, maybe his tail. <gasps> what is that doing? What am I doing? I'm I'm like messing with his tail. It makes his mouth open. Oh, pull the tail, get the key. <laughs> He had a key in his mouth. Oh, I love that you can do that. Uh, uh, uh. Pulling my tail. Sorry. That's it. We can ride a horse now. And I don't even want to anymore. I feel like all the other animals were kind of way cooler. Not that horses aren't cool. They're fine. But I mean, I got to play with a giraffe. Well, now the horse is free. Now we can ride. I love that the horse has pink hair. It's majestic. All it needs is a horn and it would definitely be a unicorn. We've moved on from the zoo and now we're gonna bake a cake. We're going to need cake layers and cream. The cream is in the fridge. Of course it is. What kind of psychopath puts this many locks on the refrigerator? I just wanna make myself a turkey sandwich. All right, we got work to do. There's a tomato. Okay, is there anything hiding underneath your hats? No. Okay, what about the cake? What about the baby's hat? Also, no. Check the lamp. Nothing there. There is like a little puzzle. Is that an egg on a skillet? I think it is. I think I got it. I got it. Give me that green key. Pizza. Oh, this is so confusing. Um... Okay, okay, maybe I put this slice goes here. Yes. So we need to like line up all the tomatoes and the olives, which is easier said than done. Here we go that way. Yes, that fits. Eh, that, this piece here doesn't look right. I think I'm gonna move it out of the way. I don't know about this. That don't look right. This pizza is so confusing. Oh, I did it. I honestly thought that I had pieces in the wrong spots. Apparently not. I'm so good at making pizza, I guess. What's going on with this green bowl? Oh, it's just a dirty dish. We've also got some veggies that I'm going to take, and I assume I'm going to make maybe like a stew or something. I don't know. What's going on with this trash can? Trash. <laughs> Can I take the trash? No, but I have a note. 8183. Is there a code on the refrigerator? There is. All right. One down. 11 to go. Actually, two, three down nine to go, which is still kind of a lot. Is this a recipe book? It is. We put all these ingredients together and we get ourselves a key. So I need another tomato, but I have the carrots. Oh no, I have the tomato. Okay. I need a carrot. What were the things that I just put in? Maybe they were like beets or something. And then we also need salt. It looks like or some kind of seasoning. There's also a key in the oven, but it's hot. I can't pick it up. Oh, there's the salt. Put that in the in the pot. There's a light bulb. Okay. Do I put the light bulb in the light? Is there a light that doesn't have a light bulb? There is. I'm on to you, game. I'm on to you. Oven mitt. Use the oven mitt to get the key that we're baking in the oven for some reason. Um, probably not the best place to put a key, but at least we got it. Another dirty dish. Let's collect all of these dirty dishes. I expect that we're probably gonna have to clean them. I also see this jar. <sighs> 
what do I, do I just untie it? Or I twist it, twist, twist to open. Yes, can I have the key? Just, just put my whole arm in that jar of jelly to get that key out, disgusting. You gotta do what you gotta do. Let's use some of the keys that we have just so that I don't get confused, which is very easy to do to me. There we go. What is that? One, two, three, four, five keys or locks. And then we've got some kind of number code that we need to figure out. All right. Oh gosh, not this. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank goodness. I, all I have to do is rotate stuff, which definitely makes my life a lot easier. I think maybe it doesn't make my life a lot easier because everything is rotatable. And where am I supposed to go? Like, what's my end goal? Is that my end goal? <laughs> Oh, no. No, my end goal is this very bottom in the middle. Oh, okay. Maybe we're onto something here. Maybe. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, now we can run the water and it spit out a key. Who stuck a key in the water faucet? I'm telling you, this world is, is insane. The people who live in this clay world, I'm worried about them. But let's move right along, shall we? Anything in the drawers? Oh, a carrot, that's for the stew. Give me my key. <laughs> We've made a stew key. It's amazing. What is this? Is this a toaster? Is there any toast in there? Do I just need to wait? <laughs> No toast in this world, just keys. That's all you get out of a toaster. Can I use these utensils? Oh, we found our number combination, 417. 417, beautiful. And let's unlock the two, no, three locks that we have. Two more keys. And I can finally make myself a turkey sandwich. Oh, and the kids can finish their cake, but whatever, I'm hungry. It's lunchtime. What about the microwave? Um. What? Do I need to put something in there? I don't know. And we need to figure out what to do with these dishes. Maybe maybe we can put them in the sink. You wash the dishes and then we got to put the dishes away. Maybe there's like a, a shelf or something. Oh, actually, we can open the freezer now. Oh, microwave the key. That seems extremely dangerous. You're not supposed to put metal objects in a microwave, but maybe this key is not metal. It's actually made of clay. Of course. Cook that bad boy. It's totally working. It's melting the ice. Beautiful. We got ourselves a blue key. Still don't know what to do with these dishes. Maybe I just put them like in the, oh, maybe on the shelf. Yes. White key. That's it. We've done it. Give me the goods. I'm so hungry. Cheese and cream. Where's my turkey? I'm going to die. I'm not going to make it. I'll put the cream on the cake. It even came with the strawberry. I'm so hungry. I will say though, that cake does look delicious. Astronauts on an alien planet that for some reason has locks everywhere. Look, Vlad, Mom, and our brother are waiting for us on another planet. Okay, let's open up the rocket and fly to them. Why? Why would I get locked out of my own rocket that took me to the alien planet in the first place? Let's try not to ask too many questions and let's focus on figuring out how to get off of this planet. Also, worth mentioning, uh, apparently, you don't need a helmet on this planet. They got oxygen here. Wait, are there aliens? Oh my gosh, that dude has three eyes. Hello, I just took your star. Gobble, gobble. Okay, fair enough. Is there anything else I can take from you? No? Okay, thanks for the star. I see another star. I took another star. Um, all right, satellite dish. Interesting. Another star. I still don't know what these are for, but I see them and I collect them. Is that an alien? Or is that just like part of the planet? It looks like a mouth kind of, and like the tongues are like flying. Flopping out of the side. I don't know. It's a volcano dog. Alien, maybe. Hey, I think I see where the stars are. Okay, so we need two more stars. Uh, hello. There's, there's an alien in a UFO. There's an alien with four eyes. I bet he sees real good and like sees a lot. What am I going to do about this blue alien? He's not going to give me that key. Okay, poke his eyes. <laughs> He's like a snail. You poke his eyes and they, they shrink into his head. He couldn't see me take his key. He he thinks that he's still got that key. Sorry, bud. What's going on with the UFO guy though? There, there's something. When I tap it, it makes a noise. So we have to figure out what's going on with that. What about this thing? Okay, I need a screwdriver. There's also a cow just hanging out on this planet for some reason. Moo, fair enough. It's an alien cow. He does have kind of weird eyes. How about this planet? Can I do anything with the planet in the background? No? Okay. That's a space worm. Oh. oh he turned into a key. <laughs> it's a worm key. There's a bunch of jewels. Can I take them? I can't take the jewels. Oh, there's there's mom and uh, brother. That's the planet we got to get to. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, another star. Wait, is this? What am I supposed to do with this thing? Oh, I got a screwdriver. But what am I supposed to do with this Mars rover? I don't know. We'll come back to that. Let's figure out this. 
undo the screws here. There's probably gonna be some kind of puzzle. Yeah, what am I doing? Turning it into a, a pink alien? No, not a pink alien. A, a purple turnip alien? Y yes, purple turnip alien. What, now what? Can I control it? What? Is what? Okay, let's make another alien. Um, blue alien. Blue alien? Not blue alien. Green alien. No, oh, we don't have pieces for the green alien. Do we go back to purple alien? No. Slightly off purple alien? Some might say, oh, he's a key. That alien was shaped like a key. And this thing is turning into a robot. Okay, this is kind of crazy. Let's go blue alien. Blue alien. Okay, you have a key for me. Thank you. And you're a cool robot now. Sweet, I guess. Add another star to our collection. And then let's use the keys that we already have. Um, we've got the green key. We've got alien worm key. We've got blue key. Another star. All right. That's all the stars. What happens when I give this bush all the stars? I get a star key. Of course. It's science. Beautiful. What is this thing? Is it a telescope of some sort? We probably need to find something to put on top of it. I also just noticed these eggs. Oh, oh, three, six, nine, purple, blue, pink. What is purple? blue and pink. There's got to be like a number code somewhere. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, purple, blue, pink right here. Was it 369? Yes. Mission accomplished. What is this? There's something going on with the ground. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? It looks like this, this like this goop. There's something here. It's like something's hiding there. Okay. That's bothering me. Maybe that's what the rover is for. I don't know. There's a lot of things here that I don't know what to do with. Oh, okay. I picked up two objects, a rock and a thing. It's definitely what that's called. What's going on with this bush as well? Open all your eyes. Oh, 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 I don't I don't know how I feel about a three-eyed alien looking at me with only one of his eyes. <laughs> so weird. I wonder why he opened his eyes when I took all the little dots from that bush. Maybe those dots were like alien eggs and he was protecting them. I don't know. I'm sorry, I guess. What's going on here? Is this just like a matching game? It is. Okay, we got this. We got this all day. Uh, turn up head. First trial, take it. I don't know where you are. I know where you are. Got it. Um, no. Here? Yes. Uh, you. There. And then the last one. And then I'm the best matcher. And I get a key. Remove the lock. Okay, so that leaves five? Yeah, one. Well, we've got three keys and then two keypads. Okay. Um, no idea what to do with the Mars rover. No idea what to do with the cow. Maybe I can pick the cow up. I can't pick the cow up. Okay. What about this thing? What is this thing for? Is it for the rover? Maybe I can, maybe I can. <gasps> oh, okay. Is this the tool that's allowing me to do this? Or am I just doing this and I didn't actually try it earlier? I don't actually know, but I understand what I need to do. I need to collect all of the gems by clawing them. It's the world's spaciest claw game. I can't reach this one. Oh, there we go. And then that one. Get it. Get it. He's done it. And we got a key for all our hard work. I still don't know what is going on with this purple goo. Maybe guide the cow over to the purple goo. Go, go to the purple goo. No. Okay. Fair enough. Hey, maybe this alien on the UFO needs this tool. Nope. What if I throw a rock at him? Nope. <laughs> oh, I put a rock on the volcano. Okay. Thank you, volcano dog alien. You're probably just a volcano, but I still want to think of him as a dog. The rest of his body is underground. That's just his mouth poking out of the ground. Definitely need to figure out what's going on with this satellite dish. Maybe, maybe this. Oh, oh, okay. Seven, one, seven, one, seven, one, nine. And then I think it was four. Seven, one, nine, four. We're getting signals. Seven, one, nine, four. Which one is it though? What color is it? Green. Green keypad. Hey. Seven, one, nine, four. I'm a genius. Not really. Oh, this is a telescope. Like I said, I'm a genius. I've been walking around with this thing in my inventory pretty much the whole time I've been here and didn't notice that it's like the same color as the stand. I'm very smart. What am I doing here? Oh, you gotta focus it. Are we just going through space? Hey, it's uh the guy from the original game. I, I forget his name, Stan. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually his name. <laughs> 5218? Why are there numbers just floating in space? It's a little weird. Not gonna lie. 521. Amazing. And we only have one more key to get, and it's cow colored. Um, what do I do with this cow? Come on, cow. You gotta talk to me, man. Tell me, 
tell me your secrets. I don't know what you want. Vlad? Nikki? Got anything for me? Nothing? Alien guy? Nothing. Just blah, 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 blah. <gasps> the UFO needs to pick up the cow. Can I move the UFO? I can move the UFO. Of course I can move. You got to pick up the cow. This is what you're meant to do. Ah! <laughs> Let's go. All right. Outer space defeated. Get in there, kiddos. Go to the next planet. Hooray, the rocket is open. Let's go. Let's go, indeed. From space to the amusement park. Maybe they landed on amusement park planet that of course has a roller coaster that is locked. Let us unlock it. There's a lock that is a popcorn kernel. That's fantastic. Let's figure this out. We got some kind of rideable unicorn. We need a coin. We also have this dude. He's not doing anything. Fair enough. Uh, baby, launch him. Launch him. Yay! He gave me a key. Thanks, bud. Oh, we use the hammer on this. Ding. Don't mind if I do. Popcorn. Oh, you know that. There's a popcorn key. How do we get popcorn keys? Don't know. <laughs> What? Okay, that wasn't part of the popcorn machine. Fair enough. We got a Ferris wheel. There's a number. Okay, so there's numbers that match up with uh, Hi, with colors. Also, I want to figure out what's going on with mom. Okay, she's just she's just chilling on the Ferris wheel. Good for her. Uh, blue key in the tree. I can't have it. What? Okay, probably need to shoot it out of the tree, maybe. Oh my gosh, that the dream. I need to get him a cannonball. Oh my goodness. Wait, what? Ew. There's something in here though. You know if we move all this junk. Oh, that's a key. That's 100% a key. People eat a lot of bananas at the park. I'm guessing that we need to give this elephant like a cannonball or something, and then he'll shoot the cannonball at the tree and knock the key down. That's my plan. We'll come back to that later though. What's going on with these soda cans? Oh, we need like a baseball, probably. We've got popcorn kernels. Popcorn kernels in the popcorn machine. Make yourself some popcorn. Get a popcorn key. But first, we've got hamsters that must be destroyed. What? Okay, okay, I need to get 20 before the time runs out. Oh gosh, keep going. Got this, you got this. Take out the hamsters, we've done it. I uh, get a key, the hamster key. Let's use some of our keys. Just get them out of our inventory. Okay, I expect that you want this. And then give me a key. You gave me a coin. I don't want your stinky coin. Give me a key, give me a key. I don't want your music notes. I want your keys. We'll come back to that guy later. Let's ride the horse. What do I do? What? Oh, it's a mini game. Okay, okay. I need to dodge the plants, I think. I think that's the right thing to do, but I don't, uh, I, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. We got this. Oh no, I gotta get across the screen. Okay, don't worry my trusty green steed with pink hair. I'm gonna get you through this. We've done it. Green key me. Thank Thank you. Let's make some popcorn. <laughs> yes. Popcorn key. Popcorn key. Popcorn key. I wonder if I can turn the elephant around. Shoot at the soda cans. No, that doesn't seem to be the way. All right. Fair enough. Let's use our popcorn key. What's going on with this electrical panel? What did I just do? It's going into these lights, these pink lights. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, you know what? This, I think, corresponds to the numbers on the Ferris wheel. Yellow, green, orange. Let's try and figure it out. Yellow, seven. Orange, five. So it's seven, three, five. Seven, three, five? Seven, three, five? Seven, three, five. You gonna give me that pink key? I know you want him. This guy refuses to give me the pink key. There we go. What are we doing with this? Like, seriously. I don't know what to do. What am I... Gotta be something with these soda cans. I need like a tennis ball or something. Oh, 9254. That's gotta be a number pad, right? Is it this one? It was. Still not sure what's going on with this power thing. Don't, maybe that powered the, the roller coaster? I don't know. Oh, I took the ball from the, I don't know what it's called, the, the, the bell game. Maybe I can give that to the elephant. Is this a dream? Wait, no, throw it at the soda cans. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. What, what do you want me to do here, game? I see the ball in the hand. Oh, okay, okay, I got this. Missed, hit. I gotta get this red can, finesse it. Yes, got it. Okay, last one. Boom, nailed it. And I still have the ball. Give it to the elephant. Shoot it at the tree. The dream. It's alive. That was a terrible shot. Pick up the ball again and pretend that never happened. A little bit. A little bit higher. Boom. First try. Is that it? I think that's it. We're going on the roller coaster. Finally, our trip to Amusement Park Planet pays off. Get in that roller coaster and have the time of your lives. Hooray, the roller coaster is open. What fun. They were never seen again. That roller coaster just rode off into outer space.
I think the kids locked their mom in this box, putting on a bit of a magic show that seems to have gone wrong. <laughs> Let's see if we can get her out of there. I just took his hat. I just took his wand. I also took his hat. Okay, what is in this box? A whole bunch of stuff. Is there a key? Give me a key. There's so much garbage in here. Holy cow. And we just threw it all over. It's like my kids playing with toys. They do the same thing. Okay, what's going on with these things up here? Am I juggling? Oh my gosh, I'm juggling. Hey, why? Oh, I'm very bad at juggling, apparently. How, how are you supposed to do this? What in the world? I don't. Th this is the hardest game ever. Oh, you missed. Oh, okay. It's all about timing. It's all about timing. Go. You got this. Beautiful. 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 Keep the rhythm. Oh, feel the rhythm. Okay, we're doing it. We're actually doing it. I got this. Just got to feel the gauge. Let's go. That was really hard. But we got the key, and that's truly what matters. What's going on with this scene? I... D oh, what? Okay, we need to connect this. Is one of these actually like water? Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's this one. Turn on the water. There's there's candy coming out of the faucet. That's actually amazing. I don't know if that's what we want though. So maybe we need to find a new pipe. There's water, actual water. Maybe that's something that we need later. I don't know. Let's move on. We'll come back to that. I popped the balloon. Take that balloon. Hopefully we didn't need that. Hello, baby. What are you doing? You're sitting on a weird looking cake or something? something. Another balloon. Pop it. Kill all the balloons. What if we give this kid a hat? Does he want a hat? You want a little hat? No? Okay, what about the bear? Bear, do you want a hat? No, you need bubbles. This bear needs bubbles. Let's take the card. What? It's moving. Just keep tapping it. Maybe, maybe something will happen. Tap and hold. Keep tapping. I don't understand what to do with that. Use the wand. Use the hat. Use the other hat. None of this stuff is working. Hey, a key. Thank you. Let's try to open this, this chest. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard. I hope I lied. Did I lie? No, I did not lie. Easy. Thank you for the key. There's a door. There's some kind of instrument, bag, coins or something. I got some green goo. Also a bird. Hello, bird. What about these clothespins? There's a code. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on here. I put the hat on the table. I wasn't expecting that. You know what? If we've got so much stuff in our inventory, let's just get rid of some of it. Green key. Get out of here. Also, um, 7392. I think that'll be this. There you go. Can we give this kid any of this stuff? Oh my gosh, I turned him into a giant baby. All right. Oh, do you think if I play this, it'll a snake will come out of the hat? Yo, are you a key? I took the snake away. What? Why though? I'm confused. Yo, the green goo. Give it to the the bear. I took his I took his bubbles. I can give them back. But why? Okay, I'm now I'm extremely confused. Maybe if I put it in the in the water. No, that's not correct. Oops. I took the hat back. What am I supposed to do with this chicken? Oh, can I make it disappear? <laughs> Use the wand? I turned the, the bird into a key. All I needed was a blanket. Incredible. Can I turn the bear into a key? How about the baby? What about the, what about this card? This card has got me very, oh, okay. Stick it to the wall. That's one way to do it. Red key. All right, we're making good progress. What's going on with this scene? Green goop. Maybe it's bubble? No, okay. Hey, that's just air. That's kind of water, but not really. What? Oh, bubbles! Bubbles! <gasps> Give it back to the bear and then blow bubbles. Yes! It didn't do anything. Okay, I'm missing something. Or maybe, maybe I'm supposed to wait. You know what? I think we give him more bubbles. I think it's starting to kind of look like a key. Yo, I'm on to you, game. I'm on to you. I got you figured out. Is that a full key? I don't think that is. It is. We got the bubble key. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> These puzzles are very clever. What do I do with the, the hat with the snake in it? Do I give it back to the kid? Now you got a snake in your hat. I don't think he wants a snake in his hat. I don't know. Let's figure out this puzzle. <laughs> what? Okay. So can I, I can move. Oh my gosh. What am I even trying to accomplish here? Put this. Oh, I see. Okay. Every single piece basically needs a home that matches the color. Yes. Okay. So then I take the purple and I think I put it like that. Yeah. Th this, this seems good. Yeah. Okay. Just like that. G get out of it. Fair enough. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. We got this. Give me my candy cane key. Two more locks and I have no idea how to get them. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay. We're starting to reveal that there is a person inside this box, which we already kind of assumed was the case. Can I put the blanket on the baby? Can I put this hat? Okay. Okay. I did something. It's a rabbit. Oh, it's a rabbit key. Okay, wait. Does that mean... That means that we need to do something with the hat that has the snake in it? But what? <laughs> did I... Did I mess up? And then put the blanket on it? No, or maybe it's a key? It, we already had it. Boom. You're free. Ta-da. Hooray. Mom got out. Baby's very happy. Thank you for saving my mom. Today, after freeing our mom from the prison that we locked her in, we decided to take a trip. We're going on a plane. Oh, uh, you're going to be the pilot, huh? Okay. Um, Are you qualified to fly a, a jet, a plane? Maybe this person who put 12 locks on our personal private jet is actually doing us a favor protecting us from ourselves just saying either way i'm getting in there what are you holding kid oh an id okay i'm also gonna take your suitcase because why not what did i do i did something do we need to oh i see okay we need to get the weight to to 20 kg kilograms interesting is there something okay i was gonna say is there something that's just three kilograms there was it was an egg this cone seems suspicious wait there's a plane tap the plane <laughs> It's so good. Tap the plane, dude jumps out of it. Okay, it was his choice, not mine. What's going on with this cone? Something, something's going on with this cone. We'll come back to it. What about this case? Green, yellow, red. There's some kind of sequence here. Okay, we'll have to come back to that. Truck. There's suitcases. I took one of the suitcases. I took all of the suitcases. What do I do with all these suitcases? <laughs> what is this thing? I don't know. I'm, I'm just tapping on everything. Oh, wait. We found a one. I don't know. Let's try to figure out this puzzle. Um, I have no idea. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that I need to get all of the reds on this left side, which is way harder to do than you might think. Oh, I messed this up. I messed this up big time. What am I doing? I'm getting there. Okay. Those guys together. And then and put these guys down here. Okay, we got this. We got this. Took some some thinking, but we figured it out. Look at me. Now I now I can fly a plane. I think that's the final test. Hello? What's on your hat? What's going on here? What are you doing? Do I need to give you my suitcases? Do I need to give you my ID? Oh, I need to... Okay, what does this kid actually look like? I don't know. I need to look at him. Okay, he has a round nose. He has very round eyes. And then he has like eyebrows. Like brown eyebrows. I don't know if that was something that we needed to change though i don't really know let's so his eyes need to be more round yeah okay and then eyebrows wait no this is the blonde one no no it is the the brown haired one but his hair wasn't brown what about oh he needs to smile there you go look see it's him oh suitcases yes put all the suitcases on the conveyor belt there you go there's probably more also there's a baby hello <laughs> having the time of his life. All right, let's use some of these keys. I feel like I'm getting overwhelmed with, with all these keys in my inventory. Just get rid of them. Ready to get back to work. Remember these cones. There's no number underneath the purple cone. So that might be like, it might be a process of elimination maybe. We'll come back to that. There's another cone. Orange cone. Three. Also, I see a whole bunch of numbers. Berlin, Riga, London, Dubai. Those have to have some kind of meaning. I don't know what yet. What is this? Okay. What am I doing? Uh, um, do we have to put like all the good things because there's 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 two different sounds that the machine makes so it, it goes yeah, there's a higher pitch sound and then there's a lower pitch sound i think i know what we need to do yeah okay so when you scan the item look the light turns pink so you put it in the pink bucket and then when i scan this item it turns blue you put it in the blue bucket got it boom sorting junk it's what i do kind of i got a coin what does this do i don't know what this does maybe i gotta close it and then open it gotta put something in there? I don't know. Come back to that one. I do see this traffic light and remember there was that, that button that was the same colors. So I think this is our sequence. Red, yellow, red, green, yellow. Red, yellow, red, green, yellow. Let's try it. Red, yellow, red, green, yellow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Use these locks. Okay. Making progress. Is there anything underneath your hat? Okay, no. Fair enough. What's going on with air traffic control? Anything? Nothing? Okay. Okay, I can use this coin. Oh, oh, I gotta, I gotta scratch the coat. A oh, five, two, eight. Is that for one of these locks? Maybe this one? Let's try. That was it. Okay. Also, green, blue, orange. The cones. Let's figure it out. Green. Where are you? Green cone. Green cone. Seven. Then blue cone. Seven, one. Then orange. Seven, one, three. That should be our code.
code for this. Seven, feeling okay, feeling okay. This is asking for the code for Berlin, which we saw earlier, 4673, easy enough. Six, you're gonna change, aren't you? I thought it was gonna make me go through all the cities. Thank you for not making me do that. I'm taking the bags back. They're mine. No, what to do with the what? Why am I taking all these bags and the baby? Baby can keep doing his thing. All right, have fun, baby. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'm like scanning. Yes, this is like a x-ray scanner. Okay, you've got a key. Give me your key. How do I get the key out? I just tap it. Easy enough. Do you think there's more? There's another key. Holy cow. Another key? Are you serious? I kind of feel bad. No key. Um, did I just win? <laughs> I think we just won. I think those were the last keys that we needed. They were just hiding inside of suitcases. For real? Yeah. All right. Gonna let an eight-year-old fly a plane. Sure. I actually don't know how old this kid is, but I don't think he's qualified to be flying planes. Here we go. No stopping us now. See you on the other side or possibly not. Apparently we're throwing a party. That's cool. We gotta make sure that we have the disco truck. Yeah. Absolutely. But Vlad, the lorry is locked with 12 locks. The, the lorry. I think that's what they call trucks in like Europe. How are we going to have fun now? You're right. How do you have fun without a disco truck? Don't worry. We'll soon open all these locks. Okay. So we have to free the disco truck. And this is the first level. So it's like giving us a tutorial to get started, I guess. And there's the green key. Thank you. Also software update ready to install. What software? No one really knows. Okay, I, I know how to play the game. So now I have to find all the other locks. I see that there's a gear on the top of the truck. I'm gonna take it. We'll probably need that later. Is there anything else going on with the truck that... Uh, uh, there's this. What is going on with this? Oh, do we need to crank up the volume on everything? Set it to 11? I don't know if this is actually what you're supposed to do. There might be like a an actual puzzle here. There's, there's probably some kind of indicator of like what level you're supposed to set every one of those rows. I haven't made it that far yet. What's going on with the, the disco light ball thing? Nothing, okay. There's a record. All right, maybe I'll use that later. What the heck is this? Do we, what is this thing? Oh, oh, do I put this here? Yes, okay, That that did something. Did it do enough? That's the question. Maybe I need to close it. It did not do enough. Wait, maybe I close that and then maybe I gotta put something in there? Radio? What the heck? This thing is ancient technology. You need cassettes for this thing. Okay, so we'll need to find a cassette, a lightning bolt. Oh, oh. I don't know what that is. It looks kind of like a button or something, maybe. I'm sure we'll figure out what it's for at some point. There's another disc, and then we've got just like a straight up puzzle. Oh, okay, it's one of these sliding ones. All right, all right. Um, these always are difficult. Okay, this is this needs to go to the lower left. This one needs to go to the lower right. How am I gonna get you over there without moving the one that is already there? Okay. Okay, and then move you over there, and then move you over there, and get you out of here. Okay, uh-huh. Yeah, that is where that is supposed to be. You need to get over here. You need to go down one. How am I gonna get... Oh my gosh. I'm just making a bigger mess. There we go. Here we go. There we go. Okay, we're making progress. This one needs to go to the upper right. There we go. You got to get to the upper left. Okay, okay, all right. We'll, we'll get there. And then get this guy back. And then, ooh, it's starting to come together. Okay. We're almost there. There's a problem here. <laughs> How am I going to get this piece out? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, that's not going to work. That's not working. That Okay, that's working. That's definitely working. But I got I to gotta mess this all up now to get this piece. No, that... What am I doing? Messing everything up, man. Okay, no. <laughs> Stop messing things up. They're, they were happy where they were. Bring this over here, and then bring this one down here. Bring that over there. I'm, I'm, I'm working. I'm, I'm working on this. Oh gosh. We're so close. We're so close. 
How am I gonna get that piece back? I gotta get these two swapped. I think we got it. I think we got it. We got it! <laughs> these puzzles, man. Especially those sliding ones. I don't know what it is about those, but they, they... They mess with my head. What's this kid doing? Oh, a cassette. He's just dancing on the disco stage. Doing his thing. I see that there's a disc in disco, but I can't take it. Okay. Do I have to... Ooh, maybe I match what's on the left side? Yes! Give me the star key. Oh, what? Right? 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 It's DDR, dude. Down. Down. Left. Right. Up. Do a jumping jack. You got this. You got this, kid. You're killing it. You're going places. This is the greatest disco dance I've ever seen. There we go. Are you gonna give me a key for my amazing... DDR skills. I used to be super into DDR. We had like those those terrible plastic mats that you could plug into like a PlayStation. Literally, I think it was like PlayStation 2, I think is, is what we played it on. They were awful because they would never stay like perfectly flat. I mean, imagine dancing on like on top of a sheet. It's going to get all wrinkled and weird. That's what the DDR pads would do, but but we were into it. Oh my gosh. Three, six, four, eight. What does that mean? I'm sure we'll find somewhere to put in a number. We've got another disco ball. Oh, I just blew up the disco ball and it gave me a disco key. Thank you. DJ's just chilling. Hee <laughs> hee. Hee hee. What are you doing? Oh, you need, ah, you need the records. Oh, also I can lift this. Why would I do that? I don't know. Give him the other disc. Boom. Are you good? Oh. What? Oopsie. Okay. Okay, you gotta press the, the, the middle? Oh. Oh, we're kind of playing like Simon Says. Okay, left, right. Oh gosh. Okay, we go boom, boom, and then hit that button, and then that button. Okay, upper right, red disc, left, blue disc, bottom, upper right, red disc, blue disc. <sighs> that hurts. I wasn't even looking at what he pressed. Did he press the middle? And then blue disc, and then red disc. Oh my gosh. This is so hard. Okay, pay attention. Red disc, or, yeah, yeah. And then lower right. Okay, upper right, red disc, left, blue disc, bottom. Upper right, red disc, left, blue disc, bottom. <laughs> Let's just say Simon Says is not my strongest skill. Also, you guys looking at this, this like the, the meter that's at the bottom of his DJ station kind of looks like that one puzzle we were looking at. But I don't, I don't think that's it. I, I thought maybe like there's a code in there, but that seems way too complicated. Hello, little girl. What are you doing? Sitting on top of that speaker. You're feeling the bass. What, what, whoa. Plug this in? Can I plug it into the DJ station? Do I plug it back into itself? Where do I plug this thing in? Oh, I plug it into her headphones. Oh my gosh. You're, you're gonna like explode if I do that. It's too much power. No, I can't. There's an invisible wall. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. Let's let's use some of the locks that we already have, or the keys to unlock the locks. Boom. Boom. I don't know what this button is for. Oh, we also have this, the lightning bolt key. Okay. We have more hunting to do. Does this thing go in here? Oh, it does. Huh? We're making bubbles? It's a bubble machine. Does it need like another ingredient? Maybe? Maybe that's the problem. I don't, I don't know. It's making a lot of bubbles. Maybe I just let the bubbles kind of build up. Maybe eventually it'll spit out a key. It does not appear to be. Oh, there was a key in there. Okay, sweet. Add the cassette, hit play. Bump it. All right. So we got the bubble key. We got the blue key. There's still... Oh, 3648. Where do you think that goes? Is there a number pad? 
There he is. Three, six, four, eight. Give it to me. I'm insane. Open the blue one. Open the bubble one. So we just have two keys. Red and purple. What's under your hat, kid? Nothing. All right, what's going on with speaker girl? What's your deal? Do I plug this in over here? She wants it. It's like she's reaching for it. Oh, oh, wait a second. Maybe I can... Oh! She's getting those beats blasted straight into her brain. And I think she's loving it. There's two more puzzles, right? Because we have to figure out this thing in the upper right, and then we need to find the red key. And I think the red key has something to do with this, maybe? Like, why can you do this? Why why can you move this? I don't understand. Oh, oh! <laughs> There's the red key! Okay! So the only puzzle left is this. Do you think maybe, like, we can... We're, we're trying to listen? Like, maybe as you adjust it, it... I don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. And it's not working. Let's set them all to zero. This is pain. Okay, there's gotta be more to this. Like th this right here is, oh wait, two. They all stop at a certain level. The first one only goes to two. The second one always goes to four. I think we figured it out. I think we got it. This is two. This is four. Okay. Then the third row goes to three. The fourth row goes all the way. In fact, I think it's the only row that goes to the very top. Okay, okay. So next row is three. No, 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 don't mess that up. I don't know which knob does what. Okay, so you're three, and then you go all the way up, and I'm pretty sure you were here, and I think this one was, was three, the last one. Let's see. I feel pretty smart about that one. Okay, let's open the disco truck. The party is here. Finally, success. Yay, the lorry is open. Now we can have fun, because no one was having fun. But now the time has come. Thank you for helping us open all these locks. You're welcome. Did that really only take me seven minutes and 45 seconds? Well, 44 seconds? No, I've been recording for 19 minutes. I still don't understand how they time these puzzles. Look at my level bonus. Holy cow, 100 coins. I'm rich. His baby tooth is loose. It hurts. We got to take this kid to the dentist. We need to pull it out. Oh, my gosh. All right. So here I am trapped in a room with my dentist trying to help him find the tools to torture me. This doesn't seem right. A dentist that lost all of his tools seems like a dentist that should not be a dentist. But here I am helping him find his tools to rip out my teeth. I hate this, but this is kind of cool because we're not actually looking for locks. We're looking for, for instruments of torture. <laughs> the dentist isn't that bad, but something about having my teeth scraped at and scratched at and wiggled and uh, it just sends chills down your spine. Uh. All right, what's going on with this thing? Oh. I hate these puzzles. I hate them. Help. Okay. I gotta rotate the, the two blues into position. One more. There you go. Okay. How am I gonna do this without messing up everything that I've got going? The problem is, is I gotta line these, these oranges up. I can do this. I promise. My brain! It hurts! Basically, I need to position the blue and the orange in the center circle in a way that allows me to just do one rotation to get the oranges into place. I know it's like a really complicated thought process and I'm probably overcomplicating it. Oh gosh, I accidentally left. Okay, it didn't reset the puzzle, thank you. So it needs to be there, but then I need to get the greens out. And then the problem is, is that I take an orange when I start rotating it, so I need to put an orange in place, oh my gosh, my brain. A few moments later. At this point, I'm just pressing buttons and hoping for the best. And um, turns out not a great strategy for the record. One hour later. Okay. Is this not? 
I don't know what else I can do here. I feel like I got it. This is not correct. Three hours later. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got it completely backwards. All right. Because look at the center. The, the one on the left is orange. The one on the right is blue. I completely, completely got it reversed. I am embarrassed. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. But if I have a good, like, I think I messed it up already. One eternity later. If I had played it right, I probably could have rotated everything perfectly into place. There it is. <laughs> I did not need to take as long as it did, but I'm glad we figured it out. Eventually, still don't know what any of this stuff is. What's going on with this thing? Can I cut it? No, I can adjust the the height of the star. A okay, screwdriver. Oh, you gave me three, two, seven, five, one. Okay, is there a number code somewhere? Oh, I can use the screwdriver to open this thing, right? Yeah, which is what I'm gonna do. This is a terrifying looking device. Is this an x-ray machine? Okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, that maybe like that. Like that. That seems weird. Right, rotate you that way. Okay, that's looking pretty good. That is not looking good. Some of these are definitely out of place. For sure. I think you need to be, yeah, okay, but hey, that wasn't so bad. I got that one going pretty quickly. There's a K on the x-ray machine for some reason. Don't know what that is there for. We got another one of these stars that we can adjust the, the height for. Do I put this thing in there? What? Is that candy? Wait, 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 wait. Can I take the... There's candy in there. I don't know why I x-rayed it. I could just open it. That'd probably simplify the whole process. Hello, this is the doctor's assistant. A, got it. Next letter, X, got it. I can see. Why are you giving me a vision test in a dentist office? <laughs> There's something fishy going on with this place. There is no G. There's no G, kid. Oh, it's hiding somewhere. There's a V. Where's the G, man? I see every other letter. Why is this G so hard to find? Okay, you know what? Here, take the scissors. They're all yours. Maybe the G is, is hiding? No? Oh, this person is, is changing. I don't, I feel like this is kind of a rude thing. Here, take your, you need your clothes. No, stop, I need to, okay, I got a Band-Aid. Is there anything in here? No, okay. Seriously, where's that G? Maybe it's inside one of these boxes. That would be weird, right? I'm just, I'm x-raying all of these boxes and I don't really know why. Soda, okay. I don't, I don't see any Gs. Anybody need a Band-Aid? You need a Band-Aid? You? Band-Aid? You just want me to find the letter G. I will continue to hunt for the letter G. Do you need a Band-Aid? What do you do? What? I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> what do you want? You want you want a piece of paper or something? Okay. Hey, there's, okay. I found something. Wait, are these items? These are actual items that I can place, huh? Yeah. Okay. So I don't need those for puzzles. I need them to win. What's going on with this? Ah, there's a G. Okay, let's go back to the kid. What else you got for me? E. I saw E. At some point, I definitely saw it. There it is. Boom. You got more for me? S. Have I seen an S? Yes, I have. Look at me knowing alphabets. You're done? Seriously? You, but you didn't give me anything, man. Oh, did it, did it spit out those glasses? It must have spit out those glasses. Those are for the doctor. He's gonna need those. What's going on over here? I got, I got like a, a towel of some sort. Maybe I can, I don't know. And then this thing. Oh, 
Okay. Do I have to make the lines match, maybe? Oh, yeah. Okay. You gotta make them more narrow. Now you gotta bring them down a little bit. Oh, oh, we were so close. There. Is that not it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Whoo, all right. Let me just double check that a towel isn't on this. The, the pliers are on this. Hate that. What could that possibly be for? Maybe he has a splinter. What's going on with this thing? I put a towel on it? No. Oh, it's not a towel. It's a, it's a, like a printer. <laughs> okay. The little girl wanted this. Here, take it. Thank you. You gave me a, a syringe. I hope that is some strong numbing medication. What's going on with this thing? Oh, you know what? I think, yeah, okay. Pink star goes in the middle. Green star goes to the top. And then there is no yellow star. I just win, because I'm the best. What's left? Probably a lot. Is there, any, are you hiding anything in your coat? No? Under your hat? No? All right. Fair enough. What's this thing? Looks like a tissue box, maybe? Have we figured out what this is for? 32751? Oh, maybe it's the phone? How do you, how do you work this thing? 3, 2, 7, 5, 1. Hey! Oops. I accidentally left the level. Give me this thing. What is this thing? I don't even know, but there you go, Doc. What about these lights? This kid's having the time of his life. Oh, he's thirsty. Or is that spit water? Whatever. Either way, he wants water. I need a cup. I see the water. Also, I still have no idea what to do with these boxes. Oh, I just took a hammer out of that one. Okay. Maybe I can actually take items out of them if they're, like, usable items. Is there a cup in one of these? There is! <laughs> All right, there it is. Okay, uh, fill that up. There you go. Oh, gotta fill that up a little bit more. He said he wanted a full glass. There it is. All right. I spilt it! What? Seriously? Hold on. He definitely wants a full cup. I gotta go, like, fast? Here. Okay. Too cold? This kid's so picky. So maybe do cold, and then warm, and then cold, and then warm. And then get it over to him fast. How's that? Still too cold? What's wrong with you? Do cold, and then warm, and then warm, and then warm. Maybe he wants it all? Maybe? <laughs> nope, nailed it. All right, there you go. Thermometer. Boom. Hammer. Boom. What do you need that hammer for, dude? I don't want to know. And then the last item, a grenade. No, I don't know what that is. Oh, this. How do you open this? <laughs> Stop laughing at me. All right, I had to use a hint. And it's telling me that it's this thing. Oh my gosh. They are tissues. I just had to pull the tissues out. Until I get a key. And then I open the emergency box. The medical box. And then in there is a grenade that does look like a grenade what is that what, seriously what are you doing with that doc seems seems dangerous yay we've got all the tools now i can rip out that tooth <laughs> uh, well looks like it worked don't know how long it took don't know how much pain that kid went through but the dentist did his job my teeth hurt Welcome back to 12 locks, but this time we need to find the difference. This seems awesome. Let's do this. Hi, my name is Liza. Hello, Liza. Today, my dad and I came to the art gallery. What a lovely place to go. Liza, look how many pictures there are. You could look at these pictures forever. Forever is a really long time, though. I'm, I'm getting a little bored. Let's move on. Dad, while you were looking at the paintings forever, the gallery closed. <laughs> 
probably should have paid attention. Look how many locks are on this door. How do we get out now? I imagine there's 12 locks. No problem. I'm a master at undoing locks. Oh, no. What is it with these clay people and locks? All right. Well, we've got keys to find. I suspect. Oh, interesting. Okay. So we have to look through the art to find the differences. Immediately, I see that she has her mouth open uh, on the right hand side. And then dad has a frown. Gosh, there are nine, no, 11 differences in total. That's a lot. Uh, the leaf has like a little, little uh, orange there. What about the beetle? Is there anything different about the beetle? Yes, it's missing a leg. Okay. Uh, dad's pointing down at the beetle on the left hand side. Okay. There are three leaves on the ground. You see that? Mm -hmm. What else though? <laughs> I'm running out of out of things to spot. What about the clouds? Are the clouds different? No, the clouds aren't different. Oh, this orange leaf is different. Yeah, okay. And there's still four more. Holy cow. Oh, dad's missing an eyebrow. <laughs> Probably get that fixed. Um, the bush in the background. Look at the bush. Look, it like has like two little, little points at the top. Okay, two more. Dang, this is hard. Oh, the tree branch doesn't have lines. Okay, we're making progress, but there's only one more. Holy cow. What is it? The belt buckle. I'm on to you, game. And that is one key. What? I got to do that 12 more times? Dang. Okay, this is this is going to be hard. <laughs> Let's go to Cherry Land, shall we? I love too that all the art in this random art exhibit that they're visiting features them. I would be kind of freaked out if that were the case. Okay, first thing I spot is dad's buttons. They're different on the the right-hand side. Um his eyes are different on the right-hand side as well, okay? Uh she has her mouth open on the right. Okay, there has to be some difference differences with the cherries, right? Okay, the stem is longer on the one that she's holding. There's also a little shiny bit. Uh, there's a shiny bit in the background. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Is the stem shorter on this one? Oh no, I'm running out of time. I didn't know there was a timer on this. Oh no, I don't see it. Uh, dad does not have a thumb. Oh, and uh, daughter doesn't have a thumb either. <laughs> Okay, we'll get that fixed up. I'm lost now. I don't see the last difference. It's gonna melt my brain. Oh my gosh, it's her hair. There's just like a little flip. Flippity doodad right there on the top of her head. Holy cow. This game does not mess around at all. All right, let's get it done. Dad, open, open mouth. Um, his eyes look weird. <laughs> Why are, why was his eyes like, oh, it's so weird. Uh, the stick in the pond is longer on the, on the left-hand side. Okay. There's also a lily pad that is not there. Uh, the string. Okay. Extra button. That button's missing, dad. Why is the button missing always on the right-hand side? The daughter's nose looks very different on the right-hand side. She's also missing an arm. Oh gosh. Get this girl an arm. <laughs> what else? What else? There's still three more. Okay, wait. There's there's a, there's a little plant behind her head. Check those plants. What about those lily pads? Okay, what about the, the floor? Like the lines on the, the floor? Yes! There's lines missing there. Okay, there's only one more left. What is it? What is it? You tell me right now, game. Is it her hair? I don't think it's her hair. I hate this so much right now. It's the stick. It's the fishing rod stick. There's like a little stem. Gosh. Very subtle and sneaky. Kind of mean, game. You're kind to mean what is going on here what am i doing uh, do i need to find that flower it's this one ah yes okay so we need to find whatever it is that is being circled that is one of the bear's paws i think it's this bear on the tree in the background just kind of laying down yeah it was okay which bear's face is that i think it's the little bear yeah it's definitely the little bear okay there's a branch oh up up above okay yeah <sighs> You want me to find this weird leaf? I think it's this tree on the left-hand side of the painting towards the top. I, I'm gonna go for it. It was. This is one of the tree branches? What is, what is that? There's a bush in front of it. Oh, I see where it is. It's kind of weird. Um, So it's where the bottom of this one bear's foot and the hand of the little bear meets. There's like a, a little bush right there. Yep, okay, that's the one. This is easy. 
this is what that bear is laying on top of. And then this is the big bear's foot. Okay, we're making progress. This is just a mushroom over in the lower right hand corner. Boom, got it. And then you just got a random bush. It's at the bottom of this orange log. There you go. He's done it. Okay, all right. Little progress at a time. What's going on with this cat? Gotta spot the difference. Okay, fair enough. Uh, there's a heart. The color of this thing in the background is different. I don't know if those are like doorknobs. The cat has his mouth open. There's a key in the cat's food. There's also a little small fish on the on the rug. Looks like the water is more full on the left hand side. Do you have all your limbs? Are you missing any whiskers? There is something different on his tail. Look at the very tip of his tail. There's like one little notch in there. Okay, I'm glad I spotted that. That one would have been very frustrating. There's a line on the floor on the right hand side two more. There's a line on the left-hand side. All right. Um, I'm not seeing it. There's got to be something with this fur, right? Something very, very minor. No? Yes? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is melting my brain. I don't know what the last thing is. You guys are probably all looking at the screen, pointing at it. It's right there. I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh my gosh, I am a fool. It's so obvious. There's a little cat face on his bowl. Gosh. That should not have taken as long as it did. Okay, we have a puzzle. How does this... Okay, we're just flipping it. That... This is easy. I can handle this all day. Okay, that section's been completed. This is a giant lock, which, as we've learned, clay people love giant locks. They love locks in general. Big fans of keys as well. Here it is. Is this it? Is this the end? Oh, there's a square up at the top. <laughs> what have I done? Okay. All right. You know what? Let's use the keys that we have and see what we have left after that. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Blast you out of existence. Destroy you. And purple. Goodbye. Five more. Plus a key. Plus a code. We got this. Let's go this way now. So now we have a top to bottom difference maker. Um, There are eyes on the bottom. Y he has pupils. There's a cork on the bottle on the left. Also, the guy has teeth on the left. Uh, Dad looks angry. He has angry eyebrows. Let's fix that. It's freaking me out. Also, his buttons, man. His buttons are always messed up. Uh, The girl has a different like lapel and then her mouth is open. She's also holding a key. What is the last? difference. You think it's something with one of these jars? Maybe like the color is a little different? I'm looking. I'm look. I, I see it. There's a red line on the left jar that's supposed to be like indigo. And there you go. Give me another key. Oh, that has a mustache. <laughs> that is one of the most obvious differences right off the bat. Um, also, he's looking down. The picture is different on the phone. Uh, she's winking. We don't want that. There's a little heart in the lower right hand corner. There's also a key on the desk. Uh, the scared guy in the background has hair. There's also a little person in that painting that is supposed to be there. Oh, we are we are making world record pace here. This is beautiful. Now I'm stuck. Ah, dad's missing a thumb. Who needs him? What about his buttons? You can't even see his buttons. Look at Liza's hair. Is Liza's hair different? There's only one more. I burned through all the other ones so quickly and I can't spot the last difference. It's always the last one that gets you. Is the old lady in the background different? Different? Doesn't look like it. What about the picture frame? Is the picture frame different? I'm not seeing any differences and I want to cry. You're lying to me, game. These pictures are identical. There's no difference. Stop lying. I think I need a hint. I'm seriously stumped. I'm gonna be so mad though once I see it. I don't want your hints. Not yet. I'm not ready. I'm kind of ready. Why is this so hard? Okay, I'm taking the hint. I'm, I know I'm gonna be mad. No! I was looking at the old lady. It was her dumb nose. Oh, man man. I knew I would be mad. No more hints. I will not accept your hints. Okay, she's got a blue button. Dad is missing his belt. Dad's mouth is open in the smaller painting. It's so weird. There's two paintings of the paintings. It's a painting within a painting on a painting made of clay. Uh, the real dad's buttons are missing. He has too many. Liza's eyes are looking in a different direction. Okay. Uh, dad's shoe is a different color. There is a line just missing from the... Uh 
above Liza's head. That's, that's a, I'm glad I spotted that one. There's also a red bug in the lower left-hand corner. Okay. Liza's hair is different. You can't fool me, game. I'm on to you. Dad's hand is different. And then there's only one more. And this is where everything falls apart. It's always going so well until it's not. Oh, no, I see it. The painting of dad. He's missing an ear. There you go. Okay. Only a few more. What is going on with these pots? Am I spotting the difference? Because like the pot on the right has a different cork. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then I need to change the order of the rings. Okay. Um, The shape of the handle needs to be rounded. The sun needs to have rays all the way around it. Is that right? That's not right. That's right. Okay. The jewels. We need a yellow jewel here, and then we need a red jewel here, and then a yellow jewel here, and then a green jewel here, and then we need to turn this little twisty doodad. I did it. I did it. Your pots will not fool me. What's going on with the oh 8491 that's our code so i think this is the last painting that we need to solve i got this there's bees and then the the jar the the cork is different uh obviously there's a pink grape get rid of that guy there's also just a grape that is missing uh there's a leaf on the grape vine hmm oh a leaf on the the apple and then a stem on the pear i'm a genius that one was actually super easy why were they so hard up to that point maybe my brain is starting to like understand better. I don't know. Either way, we're going to be able to escape this this prison, aka the museum. What was the code again? 8491? Get out of there. Save yourselves. We've done it. Oh no. We just opened a door to another part of the museum. Hooray, the door is open. There's a new room waiting for us behind this door. There's no escape. I see dinosaur bones. Let's do it. Look at this dinosaur, Liza. Better look over here. It's another locked door. <laughs> no problem. This door won't stop us. All right. More matching. I can do this. What's going on with this dinosaur? Nothing. Okay. We got dinosaur paintings. I love this. That dinosaur is missing a tooth. He also has like a little button on his, on his shirt. He's got polka dot tie. The building in the background is missing a couple of lines. Okay. The mountain is different. Dad's mouth is open. The egg is missing a dot. Three more. Three more. <sighs> The dinosaur's looking in a different direction. Okay. What else? What you got for me, game? What you got for me? Nothing. Nothing? Something? There's still two more. I don't see them. Oh, the bush is different in the background. Okay. Is Liza's hair different? The ultimate question. No, it's not. It's the same. What else could it be? Is he missing any other teeth? Definitely not. I'm not seeing it. Is there a difference with the clouds? The cloud, maybe? No, I don't think it's the cloud. I don't know. Check their noses. Their noses are the same. Oh my gosh. His neck? I, I need it. I need a hint. I'm stumped. No more hints. There was a missing tooth. Ah, <sighs> that hurts. That's a giant flamingo eating dad. All right, let's fix whatever's going on. I see eyebrows that aren't supposed to be there. There's an extra line. There's this thing, like a little, little like stem. There's something going on with the cloud. There's an extra leaf. What else? What else? What else you got for me, game? What else? I'm mad at you now. You hurt my feelings. There's a lily pad. And then this thing needs to go. I'm too good. Beat that one in like 30 seconds. That's an angry looking cat. He's got fangs. He's got a black nose. He's got different eyes. The dad's eyes look a little wonky, I would say. He also was missing an ear. Let's fix his fix his eyes. Are his eyes good? Okay, yep. His mouth needs to be opened. Uh, the tree branch in the upper right needs to be fixed. The dinosaur has an open mouth. You don't scare me anymore, game. I'm on to you. There's a little weird, like, wisp of hair. Is he missing any fingers or toes? Yes, he's missing toes. There's one more. One more. I hate the one more. The one more is my worst enemy. The cat's missing an eye eyelash or eyebrow. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We've done it. What is going on here? Oh, oh, I need to. Yeah. Okay. I need to set the time to the same as it is in the picture. Maybe what time is that? 920. Set that to, to nine. And then, then the big hand needs to go. Okay. That was it. And then there's an arm. They put that on the dinosaur bone. Give him an arm. Okay. There's probably more bones. That's fine. We'll keep it going. These are easy, right? No, these are not easy. Oh no. It's one of these slide ones. Oh boy. Boy. Okay.
okay. Piece dad together. And then I think he might be standing in front of a dinosaur, like a very large dinosaur. Okay. Okay. We're making progress. I, th I think. Yes. Okay. And then there's his eye. And then this goes there. Okay. Aha. Yes. That goes to the corner. And this goes over here. Oh, we're good. We're good. There it is. There's your painting. It's adorable. That's a scary looking rat. He has red eyes. I don't like it. His tail is cut off in the picture on the right. And there was 14 differences on this one. Okay. Uh, there's an apple that need not be there. The bush is a little different. This bush behind the rock is a little different. His eyes are different. His mouth is different. His hand is different. There's a dot missing from his, his loincloth. The tree in the background is different. The whisker is missing. Uh, the rat has whiskers in his ears. The rat also has three fingers. What else? What else? What else? It's just one more. What is the one more? Check his tail. Yes, there's a line missing from his tail. Oh my gosh. Okay. Rex, what's going on with you? You just have a key in your mouth. I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's a giant spider. That's terrifying. She looks a little scared. She should be having a great time. Also, there's apples in the tree. Get rid of those. Uh, the rock is a different color. There's also a rock missing. Also, one of his fangs is missing. The, the spider's eyes are different. What else? What else? The spider web is different. The bush right below the spider web is different. Oh, we are spotting the differences and it feels great. What else you got for me? Okay. Uh, her arm. What about her hair? Liza's hair? Nope. Liza's hair is the same. There's only two two more. What is it? The spider's missing a leg. Oh my gosh. You will not stump me. Not like this. The flowers. Is there anything different about the flowers? Yes. This one has an extra petal. Ha! Eggs. So many eggs. Oh no. All right. There's another pterodactyl in the sky. Get rid of it. There's so many polka dots. The polka dots are going to be the, the main source of our differences. I'm seeing them already. Uh, Dad's shirt is different. Also, his mouth is different. Also, his eyes are different. Goodness. What about his hands? He He's missing a thumb. Give him a thumb. Pterodactyl. Its mouth was open. Close that mouth. Liza's hair. I see a difference. Dad's ear. It doesn't have a hole. <laughs> Two more, two more, two more. Liza's eyelashes. One more. Can it be done? We're speed running this thing. I, uh, no, that's not it. Check the pterodactyl. Yes, the pterodactyl has a tail. Oh man, thank you, thank you. What is that? It's a man eating plant. I'm so sorry this happened to you, dad. Okay, we got his mouth, we got his ears. Spike on the man eating plant. There's another spike on the man eating plant. There's a polka dot missing on Liza's shirt. Is her hair different? It's the ultimate question we have to ask ourselves. Her hair is not different, but she is missing an arm. Fix that. <laughs> There's an extra rock on the ground. There's a spike right there. I think that's a different plant. Check the bushes. You know they're going to throw you off. Yep, upper right hand corner, different bush. Two more. Dad's missing a polka dot. One more. Yes, I see it. The bush up at the top. Easy, easy. We got this all day. This is a very large painting. This scares me. Oh, okay. We need to spot the things. That's the dinosaur's eye. That is the dinosaur's smile. That is the dinosaur in the upper Upper right hand corner kind of looks like a snake. That's the snout of the purple dinosaur. That is a bush right next to the purple dinosaur. Um, that's part of the snake uh, above the pink dinosaur. Uh, that's Liza's foot. That's a spike from the purple dinosaur. Oh, we're killing it. That is the giant bunny's ear. And that is the foot of the purple dinosaur. I win. I'm the best. I'm the greatest finder of the differences. Are we done? Remove these locks. Remove all these locks. Oh my gosh. Lock removal ASMR. The, the white lock. I can't get to it. I can't get to the white lock. <laughs> Hold on. I need to scoot the screen over. There you go. All right. Get rid of you. Red lock. Get out of here. Black lock. Go away. Brown lock. Blue lock. Yellow lock. Polka dot lock. There's still an orange lock somewhere or an orange key. What did I miss? Um, excuse me? Liza? Hey, tell me where the key is. Is it in the, is it the dinosaur? Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. There you go. You get your orange lock from the dinosaur bones. And then there's a code. Did we see a code? I don't see it. Is it Rex? Do you think it's R-E-X? Are these letters? No, they're numbers. What is the code? Is it in his mouth? Maybe it's this piece of paper? 8491, let's go. All right, get me out of here. I have a feeling that we're not going to get out. It's just another section of the museum, but there you go. We're making progress.
We still have not discovered the mystery of who the maniac is that is running around with 12 locks and 12 keys and then hiding them inside of paintings of all places. But maybe that's in the sequel. For now, I just want to get out of here. And of course, the way to do that is to solve puzzles. So let's solve puzzles. Okay, so I just need to flip these around. This isn't so bad. Although this one, is that right? No, that doesn't seem right. That is right. You got to kind of like look at the strokes of the paintbrush. How about this one? Like that. Very nice. Okay, that's the cat's face. That is the cat's tail. Where are these people? What are they doing in this painting? They're just sitting on giant jars? Either they are very small or they are in a very large kitchen. I like the idea that they found themselves trapped in a giant kitchen. It, it, did I win? Am I winning? What is not correct? Oh, the middle of the, the teacup. Okay, give me my first key. I worked hard for that. All right, you guys know the drill. We got to look for differences. The first one I see is his foot. He needs a shoe. Uh, what about the sprinkles? There's a sprinkle missing. Got it. Now we look at the castle. I see a missing brick. It's so little. This drawing is very small, which makes me think I'm going to have a hard time with it. Wait, look at the rampart. That's what that's called, right? Like right above the window on the right hand side. See, it's longer. I'm using my noggin for once. There's a first time for everything. Oh, he's waving in the left picture. Okay. Observe. Continue observing. Left side of the castle. The cone. The, the window is upside down. What the heck? There's a bush missing behind the castle. Okay, only two more. I got this. Absolutely. It's so easy. Okay, I'm now looking at like, see the little T's on the castle? I'm looking at, hey, I see one. The, you could see it. It's, it's upside down. Holy cow. They're really, really getting minute. There's only one more. What is it? Please don't let me get stuck again. Oh my gosh. What is it? <laughs> The cloud. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've done it. What is this? It's a sword. I now have a sword. I also have a, a head. It's a little freaky. Oh, good. A giant cat. This has got teeth. Not not on the painting on the right. And then he's got like a little like a, a fuzz ball coming out of his chin. His eyes are different in this painting. Also, this ball hanging is a different color. There's no pebble underneath the cat's head. Uh, Something's going on with dad. He's missing a button. What else? Oh my gosh. There's so many lines. You just got to look at the lines. And actually, I see one. There's one on the scratching thing underneath the cat's foot. What about whiskers? Does he have extra whiskers? Maybe. Wait, I see another line that's missing up at the top. Oh my gosh, dad's missing an ear. Okay, we got through that one pretty fast. Feel very good. My observation brain is kicking into gear. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, okay, just move the jelly beans to the correct color of the plate. That's not hard. I can sort. I've got that figured out. I win. I'm the greatest jelly bean sorter the world has ever seen. I think I figured out where this head needs to go. Just gonna drop that right there. Congratulations, you now have a head. Do you need a sword? Oh! Okay, thank you. All right, let's get to spotting differences, shall we? I see that she's holding a key. Also, her hair is different. Also, the little arch thing above her head. There's the 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 rooster on top of the castle. Oh, we're we are blasting through this. Differences left and right until you get to the very last one, and then you sit there for 15 minutes staring at the same picture, asking your brain why? Why? He's wearing a hat. Also, he has a spear. There's a dot missing on the pathway. The bush is a little bit different in the front. What about the clouds? Look at the clouds. The clouds are not different, but the plant in the back is. That was subtle. Very subtle. And like I said, here we are on the very last difference. And I'm just staring. Dad, you missing any fingers? You got like weird nose? Maybe your eyes? No? Okay, fair enough. Oh, there's a window missing. Okay, I knew we'd get it eventually. Oh, good, giant mushrooms. Don't eat the mushroom. It's bad, could be poisonous. It may not be, but is it really worth it? Okay, we are spotting differences left and right, and it feels great. Just never stop, never stop finding differences. Oh, this bush in the front. What about the bushes in the back? There's an entire bush missing. Dad's buttons are, what else? What else? You know you see it. There's one more. Where is it? I know it's there. Somewhere. Looking at me. Laughing at me. It's always the last one. Oh my gosh. Come on, game. It's not the game's fault. It's my fault. But I'm gonna blame the game. Everyone has all their fingers. What else is there? The hair different? Hair looks the same to me. Oh my gosh. What is it? The bushes in the background, are they different? The mushrooms? The pebbles in the front? The bushes in the front. I don't see any differences, man. Oh my gosh. Dad's leg. His leg was bent. Holy cow. Let's move on. What's going on with this? Uh, okay. <laughs> 
I love how her hair now is, is dangling. Pistachio man, you're so strong. All right, let's get to spotting. I see the little key on his shirt. There's a key up in the right-hand corner. His eyes look weird. His eyes look really weird. What is going on? Oh, it's his eyebrows. Also, he has a different facial expression. Also, he has chest hair. He's got a patch on his knee. One of the pistachios is open. Keep it going. Just keep your brain going. We're speed running. There's a little like struggle sweat thing up at the top. His belt buckle. There's only one more. Can you spot it? Yes. There's a circle right there. We got through that one really fast. That felt good. What's going on here? More differences. Okay, spot him. I see a key. I see a different color pillow. Something about dad is not right. It's his eye. <laughs> Sometimes he goes cross-eyed. It happens. Liza's mouth is not open. She also has an, a button. Uh, oh, dad's belt buckle. The cat's mouth is open. Also, the cat's eyes are different. His nose is black. There's only one more. I can't believe we burned through those so quickly. I feel awesome until I don't. And yeah, I, I felt really good. And now we're just staring, staring away. Oh, he's missing a little whisker above his eye. There you go. The warriors are attacking. What am I doing? I, I forget. Oh, right. I need to. Okay, so that's the guy's sword sword. Uh, that's the dude's face, which is a very funny face. That's just the pebble on the ground. And then that's the flower on the ground. And then that is the left side of the far right cloud. Okay. Uh, that's the dude's shield. That is the horse's necklace. This is the horse's like saddle. That's a bush. Where is it? Right hand side. And then that's a piece of the horse's mane, the left horse. Am I done? Okay. Wait, we just need to start unlocking stuff. I have all the keys in my inventory right now. I don't know if it's all the keys, but I have a lot. Let's just start unlocking. Orange, purple, gray, green, yellow. That looks pretty unlocked to me, except for this. But there was a number code on the statue. Where are you at? 6381. Get me out. Is there just going to be more locked doors? What kind of museum is this? More locked doors. Hooray, the door is open. <laughs> you found something interesting? Okay. Look at this retro car. I mean, it's cool, but like we're still stuck in the museum. <laughs> We'll deal with it right now. I love how dad has just such a positive attitude. All right, let's get to it. I, I, there's something on the ground. Oh, look at these mobsters. Okay, we need to find the things. That's the window on the car. Wheel of the car, but which wheel? I think it's the left one. It is. There's a red pebble on the ground. That is like some kind of air intake for the car. Yes. Okay, what is that? It's just a brick. It's a brick on the building behind them. That is the very tip of the car. What do they call that? What's the thing on, on top of the hood of the car? Uh, hood ornament? But there's no ornament ornament. It's just a little bump. It's a hood bump. That is dad's tie. That is, I actually don't know. Oh, it's the headlight. That's a Tommy gun. And that is the brim of the hat on Liza. Give me my key. Oh my gosh. Look at that bike. Incredible. Let's get this bike into senders. That would be something. Anyways, there's a key in the cloud. Uh, dad's expression is different. Also, his eyes are weird. I just, something about the way his eyes go all cross-eyed freaks me out. Might need to see a doctor. The pedal was different. The belt buckle is different, or that's like just the middle of the handlebars. Pebbles on the ground. Yes, there are differences. The bush in the back. That looks like a difference to me. What about the spokes on the wheel? There's got to be like a spoke missing, right? Or not. Actually, I don't, I don't see any differences. Oh, wait, the back wheel has like a little metal part. Okay, we got that. There's an extra pebble underneath the small wheel. There's only one more. Last one. His button. What's going on with this car? You think we got to put this? thing back together or something oh yeah we got the crank you gotta crank it get this car started oh it totally worked man could you imagine having to start cars like that <laughs> what a bummer what are we doing here we're fixing a, a jet engine that's kind of impressive there is something wrong with the turbine there got that fixed uh liza has a, a badge there's a pebble on the ground uh, dad's holding a wrench but in the other picture he's just holding a stick are his eyes weird his eyes are just weird they're weird in both pictures <laughs> all right there's another rock on the ground the bush in the background is different. There's also a cloud in the sky. What else you got for me, game? More pebbles? Observe the pebbles. The ladder is missing one of the steps. That seems dangerous. Uh, Dad's missing an ear. Also kind of dangerous. Oh, and then there's just a little line on Liza's dress. And there you go. All right, we got an old school car with Liza. Let's see. Her mouth is not open. Also, the badge is on the wrong side of her dress. That hair, man. That, that is some big hair. There's a line missing on her dress or she's got 
too many lines on her dress. Uh, the hubcap of the car? The brake light of the car? There's a pebble underneath her feet? Oh, come on, brain. Keep it going. There's a bush on the left-hand side. We don't want that. Get it out of here. What about the cloud? The cloud in the sky is different. Uh, there's like creases in her ear that are not on the main picture. Two more. The door handle? Come on, speed run. She's got that massive hair. Is there anything different going on with it? I can't tell. I don't think so. Oh, she has eyelashes. Wow, that was very subtle, but we figured it out. These ones are always tricky because they're so tiny. Like the differences are so little. Okay, she's got like lines on her dress. Uh, dad's missing a button. He's not, he's not smiling. Something about Liza's hair is different. There's an extra little whoop. We don't want the extra whoop. Get that out of here. Um, the mountain? Okay, yeah, the mountain is smaller on the main picture. Uh, they're holding hands in the picture. Okay, gosh, everything is so little. Oh, wait, there's an extra line up above Liza. And then, oh, the wire to the car or the, the headlight? Because they're like standing on the hood of a giant car, right? Like on the grill. I think that's where they are. Now I'm just looking at all of the lines and seeing if there's any extra or not enough. It's a lot. There's a lot of lines. I don't think there's an issue with the lines here. So what about the people? The people look good to me. Oh, wait, Liza's missing her ear. That was it. Is it just me or are these getting harder? Maybe it's just me. Let's uh, let's spot the things, okay? That was the top of the hood. That is the back. I don't know actually what it is. There's a bush underneath the car. It's his hand. That's some kind of weird gear mechanism that is front of the car. Car, I guess. Yeah, that's one of the clouds. It's the right cloud. Okay. Pebble right in front of the car. That's his buttons and then his foot. Those are easy. More of those, please. What's going on here? Do we have to make this thing fly away? Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> all right. Thank you for the key. It's puzzle time. That is the side of his head. These are always pretty easy. It's just sometimes there's like one block that you didn't, you forgot to flip or you didn't notice it at first. I think we'll get this one. Shouldn't be too bad. There, that goes like that. Okay. Yep. Nope. Flipped it too many times. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. I think they're driving in a car, but the shape of it is is, is what's throwing me off. Like that. Oh, okay. Am I good? Am I good? I'm good. Give me my key. I worked hard for that. Let's get spotting. Um, the key is a different color. There's also a key underneath them. Uh, Liza's mouth is not open. The propeller has four blades. The back wheel is kind of missing. That seems kind of bad. Oh, uh, uh, the button on dad's shirt. Check the clouds. Cloud. There's an extra cloud in the sky above them. Oh, the back fin of the plane. Kind of need that. Oh, the button on Liza. Liza's shirt. What about her hair? Her hair is different. Spotted. What else you got for me? The clouds. The cloud. There has to be a difference in the clouds, right? There isn't. At least I don't see one. Man, there's still three more differences? For real? Oh, the key. It's facing a different way. Liza has eyelashes. You gotta check those eyelashes. Oh, also dad's eyes. Okay, there you go. I think this is it. This is the last puzzle. Let's do it. Get that red balloon. That is the back wheel. That is the windshield. That's the cloud. The right cloud. That's the top of of dad's hat. That is the hood of the car. That is the orange balloon. That is Liza's hat. The dangly thing. The clip. And then the pink balloon. Holy cow, he's done it in record time. Unlock the door. Get me out of here. Let me out. I'm just unlocking. I'm not even thinking. I'm just, I'm just blasting these locks out of existence. And then there's a, there's a number. Three, two, five, six. Save me. It's a vault. We're literally going into a vault? What's wrong with this museum? That's the stuff. We open this door like real pros. I mean, you guys have been doing it for a while, so I'm glad. Hooray! Now we can go on to the next locked door. I've been locked out of the city or something. I don't know. I'm a superhero, or at least these kids are superheroes. And they're not allowed back in the city. They've caused too much trouble. That's the story I'm telling myself. Either way, we got locks to find. First thing I noticed was this cog. Like, okay. That, that's got to be useful for something. Actually, there is a lock that is a cog. So I don't know if that comes into play at some point. We'll, we'll figure it out. Oh my goodness. I, yeah. The lasers. There's always lasers. Boxing gloves. Not sure what we're going to do with those. Hello, scientist lady. Hi, Nikki. How are you? My name's Kian, but I'm doing great. Also a bomb uh, that has a timer. That is definitely ticking down. What happens if you just wait 18 minutes? I'd rather not find out. Let's disarm this thing. Oh, don't know if this is what you want to do. I mean, <laughs> are we about to find out what happens 
when we set this thing to zero? Am I really going to blow this thing up? Why am I doing this? This seems like such a bad decision, yet I'm continuing to do it. Okay, I'm still going. Yep, I'm committed. What? It just... It just switched. Okay, wait. Maybe... Aha! Aha! The hero that everybody needed, but didn't know they wanted. Or something like that. What is this thing? It's a speaker of some sort, maybe? That's a baby driving a giant mech. Pretty normal thing to see. Why are there parts just floating here though? Oh. Oh, can I? Okay, I can move the arms. <gasps> I can pop the bubbles with the arms? No. Can I, can I grab stuff? No? Hmm. I think we're gonna have to come back to that one. Oh, here we go. There are more cogs to be found. That is clear. We found one. Seriously? Okay, two. This is a spotlight of some sort, I think. But maybe you can turn it? Nope, you cannot turn it. Okay. Why is there a crack in this wall? What? Wait, there's a piece of grass? <laughs> I'm just, I'm finding all kinds of random stuff. Just picking it up. Not sure what to do with it, but pick it up. Maybe you can use it. There's a telephone. Nobody's there. The phone book. What? What does this mean? Is this like a, a, a cipher? So the person is three, the apple is six, the heart is two, three, six, two, the rocket is five, three, six, two, five, one. Three, six, two, five, one? Three, six, two, five, one. What am I supposed to do with that? I have no idea what this is for. Three, six, five, two, one, that's what we ended up with, but <laughs> Where do I use it? I don't know. Let's go over to this thing. What, what does this thing do? Ooh. Nothing. Okay, awesome. Wait, maybe I put the grass in here? All right, all right. So we're looking for plants. Oh, look, there's pink. Okay. And then a blue. Oh, they're not, they're not pieces of grass. They're, they're, uh, they're crystals. You know, superhero stuff. Infinity stones. We'll go with that. Now I have the infinity key that will unlock the city. I think we can use the screwdriver maybe on the robot here. Yes. Okay. There's a button. I'm pressing the button. Um. Maybe we turn it on and then maybe we can. Oh, 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 wait. Okay, I'm not sure what to do with this, but we're holding it here. Grab the other one Grab it grab it grab it What gives what am I supposed to do with this? Why did he grab? The red square, but he won't grab Whatever this thing is floating very weird. Wait, what? One seven three eight one Seven three eight green. Is there a green number pad somewhere? This one, seven, three, eight. Holy cow. Okay, that was clever. What about the kids? Are they, are you guys holding uh, anything? Hey, rock. You got anything? Anything uh -huh. in your mask behind uh -huh. your cape? Uh -huh. No? All right, fair enough. We have another cog. Okay. Still not really doing anything, but we're making progress. Okay. I'm just pressing okay. buttons until something okay. good happens. Oh, okay. you. Okay, okay, it's a sequence. Okay, so we just need to find, there you go, okay. Okay, one, two. Nope, keep looking, keep looking. Oh, all the corners, okay. Okay, okay, so we've got this done, and then top, bottom, right. Mm, we were so close. Okay, top, bottom, Left, right. Beautiful. Destroy the lasers, take the key. Still don't know what to do with these boxing gloves. I'm just gonna tap on everything. Oh. Whoa. Sometimes all you gotta do is tap. Just tap, tap, tap. Gloves. Do I, nope, don't use those, okay. Gloves here. No, gloves on the, oh, let's go! You use the gloves to punch open the crack in the wall. Amazing. That's what superheroes do. All right, let's start unlocking stuff. 
There you go. A few more locks to work through, but we're making progress. I did notice earlier that I tapped on the sun and it, it moves. So there's got to be something that we're going to do with that at some point. But I don't. Oh, I made it nighttime. Give me, give me the moon. What, what significance does nighttime have? Right there. What's going on? Wait. Give me the... What, what am I... Why? No. Can I... Can I rotate this thing? Oh, I can. Okay. Th there's got... Yes! All right. All right, game. Very clever. Still not sure what to do with this. Like, why won't you grab that item? He had no problem grabbing this item. But the other one, for some reason, he, he won't grab it. Don't understand this robot. What are you doing, kid? What are you doing? You, you wipe your face? No? Okay. Grab that thing. Grab it. Grab it. Hey, you don't suppose this phone book cipher that we figured out is the key or the code for this? Because it's yellow. Maybe? We can try. I forget what it was, though. Three, six... Two, five, one. Three, six, two, five, one. Three, six, two, five, one. Incorrect. Did I get that right? I did get that right. What about the telephone itself? Is there anything we can do with that? No? Okay, fair enough. Let's figure out this situation. Okay, we can turn the pipes. Yes, that seems correct. So far, so good. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't seem right. I don't think that's right. I think that's right. Yeah. Yeah? Clearly, this is not correct. <laughs> uh, this one's a little tricky. Oh! I don't... I don't even know... How I made that work, I just was kind of moving stuff around and hoping for the best that it actually worked out. Okay, that one had me stumped. 9125, is that the keypad code? 9125, I'm the greatest. I can make it daytime again, that's cool. Not sure how much help that is. Let's figure this out. What is, what? What? Oopsie, oopsie. What? What am I doing? I don't understand this puzzle at all. Oops. How? Oopsie. What? Oops. Um, I've done something wrong, I think. Oops. Oopsie. Oops. Oopsie. 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 Oops. Help. Oopsie. Oh. Oopsie. Oh. Okay, so you're combining them together. To make bigger bloops. I, I guess. And I need to create the ultimate bloop. Am I doing this correctly? I don't know. Combine these bloops to make that bloop into a key. I see what's happening. So I just need to make another mega bloop. We're almost there. I think. Maybe. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay, I'm glad I figured that one out. It was kind of making my brain hurt. Uh, I just found a coin in her pocket. What do I do with this thing? Uh, put it in the phone? Here's, here's where that number comes into play. What was it again? Three, six, two, five, one. That's who I'm calling. Three, six, two, five, one. Three, six, two, Five. One. It totally worked. Oh my gosh. This is a tough level. I'm actually impressed with the difficulty of these puzzles. They got me thinking real good. And we still haven't solved all the puzzles. What is going on with this robot? I need to give my brain a little break. We'll come back to the robot situation, but I did notice that there is a superhero mini game that I thought was appropriate because we're playing a superhero level. Let's see what this is about. Select your suit. Oh, there's actual differences. What? What? Iron Man? Oh my gosh, they're so good. Okay, yeah, let's be Iron Man. Let's play. 
Let's play. I don't even know what... Okay. Um, oh, I, I'm still in control? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is, this is so hard to control. I just killed a bird. That's probably not something that superheroes should be going out of their way to do. Oh my goodness, this is so hard to control. Who would have thought being Iron Man was so difficult? I always thought it was just about, you know, flying and shooting lasers out of your hands and whatnot. Oh, there's so much more to it. Like not destroying entire planets. What? Ow. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Okay. Destroying satellites. Oh, hopefully we didn't need those. Okay, there's like entire galaxies that we're just punching through right now. Don't mind me, Saturn. I'm just gonna blow you up into a bunch of coins. Okay, that was insane. How high up do you think we can go? Also, what is this? A clown suit? Bat? Butterfly? And Dove, of course, is the most powerful of them all. Costing 10,000 coins. Let's do it. I can't believe I just spent that much money to be a bird superhero. Okay, let's see. Okay, all right. I wasn't sure how that worked, but I still don't really know how it works. I thought it was like, you know, angry birds, like you pull it down and then shoot up. It didn't work. Either way, I want to see how far into outer space we can go as bird guy. <laughs> the greatest of all superheroes. Oh, I saw an astronaut there for a second. See ya, astronaut. You think you're so cool going to outer space? Look at me. I'm the first bird in outer space. I'm going to a new dimension. Punching more satellites, of course, as superheroes do. Oh my goodness, we're going so fast. I don't know if there's anything else out here. I mean, it is outer space. Yeah, it's just more outer space, which is still cool, but I did spend 10,000 coins to experience what I had already seen before. What is this? Just spin the wheel? Five spins. The wheel of fortune. All right, spin it. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you basically, it's just a great way to get coins. I imagine though, you can only play this game a certain amount of times, maybe? Maybe there's like a limit? I don't actually know though. Let's see if we can get 100 again. That would be pretty rad. Awesome. That's exactly what I was going for, was one. I don't need more coins. 157? Yeah, it's not bad. Easy way to get coins, that's for sure. And actually what you can do, I don't know if it's worth it, but you can get bigger wheels that I guess have better prizes. But you know, you're spending 5,000 coins to potentially get maybe 100? like 200 coins I, I don't really know if the math checks out there but I feel like my brain is refreshed again let's head let's head back to superhero land maybe there's something going on with the buildings now that the lights are on it doesn't seem like it <laughs> can I reveal the identity of these superheroes hey Rob. nope they're so mysterious this robot this is this is where I'm having trouble what do you do with the robot do you do you put your hands together? No, okay. Do you put your hands up in the air? Like you just don't care? Nope. Am I just doing something wrong? Oh, there, okay. I didn't realize I had to like tap his hand to actually grab. Duh. Do I put these two things together? Oh, maybe I can drop them now? No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You put them together and they make a key. So there is but one more key, and it is the cog key. Can I? Oh, I can move the cogs. Now I feel real dumb. <laughs> okay. So basically, I need to connect Oops. Oops. these. No, that's not. Maybe, maybe you go here. Okay. That seems right-ish, and then you go here. No, that's not right. Wait, you go here? No. You go, maybe a small one. Okay, you go, no, you go here. Uh-oh, we're onto something. We're onto something. And then you, <gasps> it's happening. 
Yeah, this is it. The dream? It's happened? Oh my gosh. Okay. So that whole time, um, we had it. I just had to actually press on the cogs. Amazing. I'm glad that I figured it out eventually. And that's the benefit of taking a break and flying to outer space, spinning a wheel a few times, get a nice reset on your, your brain power. I don't know, but let's go to the city. There you go, we, we found our Batmobile. Hooray, we did it, but knocking the door down would have been more interesting. Well said, superhero. Well said. 